Bosch, fire away. Boom. You hear the Springfield crack. It's a 30-odd six round. Oh, what a shot. What do you do, Josh? Describe your shot. Where did you shoot him? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm making the second roll is actually for... Uh, here, I'll link it. One sec. Well, I gave you advantage, so you got a, you got a nat 20 and another... Well, the nat, nat 20 roll percentage die. If you get over 86, well, I, you do I'm, triple I'm damage. I'm doing uh, this, though. Oh, okay, but no, you well, get you, this yeah, as I can well. choose that. I can choose that as one. They have a good way of balancing it out. Oh, okay. uh, I can do triple damage. Now, the that. rest of you, you hear Josh give... Krauts! And you hear the sniper, the, the Springfield crack. And you know that there's somebody on your left. Sarge, you hear the sniper fire, or the gunshot. Okay. Crack! And it's loud. But everything's pretty loud, and he's... And the AA gun's been going, so at this point it's hard to tell if people will clue in, but it's a distinct crack, <laughs> the sniper rifle. Uh, so while he's... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So how much damage? Now, these guys are technically sort of veteran. They're, they're elite soldiers. But they seem sloppy. Um Not all the SS were like super keen, super highly trained. A lot of them were just so kind of. I do. Uh, I get twenty one on my first roll, and then do you get your bonuses on the crit, or do you just get your flat damage? You just get your flat damage, right? I don't get to add my my proficiency and my dex bonus again to the crit roll, or do I? Is it just a whole other roll? I do not know. Um, I'm not oh for the percentage roll. Because mm. uh, what I do is a side shot. If you get a nat 20, you do double damage. And you can roll percentage die, and that's a homebrew rule. If you get over 86, you do triple damage. And if you get a 0, zero it's an auto kill. Oh, well, I... Oh, okay. But um, if you have... No, I'm... Okay, when you hit... I'm just trying to think what... Because the system's all built around 5D, and there's a whole bunch of stuff to make it so you get, like, extra crits and stuff. I think in 5E, it's just another roll, is it not? But you don't get your bonuses on it? No, no. In this in this case, if you're using that academic kill, how many marksman points do you have, actually? Seven. Okay. And I get two when I kill somebody. Yeah, so ignore that 1 die 6 damage. Oh, additional 1 die 6. So you do 1 die 12. Plus 1 die 12, which is the 21, plus my two bonuses. Hmm. Right, because... So you do, but you on a crit roll, do you get an additional bonus? That's what I'm asking. Like, do you you get your dex bonus and your proficiency bonus on your crit roll and your regular roll, or just on your first roll? Oh, I don't know. You lost me there. Shit. <laughs> like, do you get your bonuses on your crit roll as well to your attack? What do you mean your What do you mean your bonuses? Like, you get a dex bonus when you're rolling damage. Do you get that? No, as No, well? that's just to hit. Yeah, your dexterity won't affect the bullet. Like, once it, that's just for accuracy. But okay, so you just get your proficiency then. Yeah. Okay, so I roll twelve. Okay, I'll roll this again then. So while you, you, you I'm, I'm pretty sure you dropped him. I mean, because you did double damage with the twenty, plus if you use that, you did one die twelve plus one die six doubled. I mean. I want to use hand and arm. Uh, Fourteen, twelve, and then one die six plus six. So that's twenty six plus six is thirty two total. Wow, okay. So how do you destroy this individual? Uh, just cause his brain to explode and <laughs> his teammates to hopefully panic terribly. Shoot him, through, shoot him through the ear hole. Was it that guy I marked that you got? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to signal, make hand and arm signals, I guess after we shoot at these guys, that we should break contact, that we should fade off and 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 retreat south. We want to continue up with them and kill as many Germans as possible. So, <coughs> okay. So I did kill that guy. So I get two points. I'm just yeah. he's down. Okay. Good. Now, now the Sarge is signaling to you guys. Like, who keeps doing that? What's going on? <laughs> Somebody watching TV or something? <laughs> anyway, uh, so the Sarge is, is issuing orders, fire and fade sort of thing. Can anyone else see any of those Germans? Are they behind buildings? No, I'm just uh, not close enough. And you're in the tree line too deep as well. 
Yeah, so can't after see. we get into this little firefight, I want us to break contact and maneuver that way. So we can fade off into the tree line. We don't want to fight with these guys. Okay, hey, so well, do you want to have to with those guys because they saw us. But anybody At else, I don't over. want to fight those other four or other three Waffen SS. Okay, it's right, complex because right. we got two groups here. Now, these ones are surprised. One just drops dead. Gunny, you're next. The Sarge said, we're going to fade back. But there are two Germans here. They Well, they let go of the, the girl. Or yeah, whatever. after we shoot. After we shoot them, obviously. Okay. We have to kill these guys, but then I want everybody to retreat. So back. make a charisma roll to see how effectively your orders have been sent and okay. how, how well you sent them out because there's a lot of noise a lot of excitement I just click on the charisma right yeah and it's coming from both ways and it's sort of like a leadership thing hey okay uh you should be using persuasion i think for that no because it's an actual class skill no he's well he's not persuading you guys well yeah i guess you get your bonus for okay i'll, I'll roll they just that. don't have yeah. an actual give orders but performance maybe 11 is my highest, 8 is my lowest. Okay, and uh, Doc and Snipes didn't get the order. As you were kind of on the right flank a bit farther, <coughs> closer to these guys, and there was too many trees in the way, and the roll wasn't very good. Gotcha. Then and after so, I shoot, I'll go to them and, and give them that order. As far as you know, Doc, Snipe just fired. Crack! And he's like, he whis whispered, Krauts! <laughs> and I don't know if he's, yet yeah, yippee, I got one, or whatever, but... Uh, that's Hell all no. you, so I'm not giving myself can... away anymore. I'm going to be repositioning now. I'm going to be crawling over to the other side. I definitely won't be yelling. So, Gunny, you see this guy, this German. He's going to have the next move. Can you use the turn order? Yeah, Gunny's next. Is he here? Actually, he's still not here. No, Sparky. I guess he's not back yet. He said Sparky can just play for Gunny for now since they're on the so, same side. So, <laughs> 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 I'm coughing over here. I just had it muted. Oh, oh okay, okay, good. Drop, good. There drop we are. prone first before you shoot. All right. So I see people. Hello. Yeah, you see a civilian who's been dragged by her hair and has kind of right. let go as these two soldiers are grabbing their weapons. The one's a little slower than the other one. The other one was kind of more ready, and he's bringing his rifle up quick. It's a K98 Mauser, high powered bolt action rifle, and he's going to shoot uh, Sparky. No, Sparky! I just got you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you can choose now to shoot a single shot, a burst, or full auto. Yeah. So it's, uh, let's go ahead and do a burst. At the now, do you aim uh, center mass? Which target? Uh, let me the one zoom with the in so the I see what the heck we're looking at here. Uh, right. Let's zoom in so I can have some clarity of the situation here. Where's the girl? She's right behind them, kind of on her knees. She's oh, okay. Like, okay. There's That's blood on her hands, and her face is all bloody, and her and she's disheveled, and half her dress is all torn. You can see she's pretty young too, a uh, young girl, probably thirteen, fourteen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, let's go with whoever is. Okay, you got to think quick here. Like I'm less Fire. less likely to shoot the girl, so the one on the left. Okay, well, there's one who's raising a rifle to shoot Sparky. All right, shoot this guy right here. Right, go ahead. So yeah. burst, right. so that means you roll one die, and it's minus three, and then we roll six-sided to see how many of those three bullets hit him if they hit. So his AC, standing there prone, is not good. His AC right now is like 10. So, <clears throat> so what do I need to roll? You just roll your, uh, uh, what weapon are you firing? Bad gun. A handgun? That gun. That gun. What the is bar. That gun? What is it? M1 uh, and Browning. Bar? Yeah, he has he has the Browning. Yeah. The the automatic rifle. Oh. Yeah, okay, so pop, pop, pop. And so go ahead. That would be your dexterity. So I roll my dexterity next? Yep. Okay. Just roll dexterity check at this point. Nice. Now, which one was it? 16 or 22? 16 is the bar. It's right under it. That was him shooting. 22 was the dex check you just asked him to make. 
Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah, of course. The macro or works. So I'll take 16, which is still a hit. And you roll six-sided now. Okay, six-sided. And divide it by two. So you got uh, two and a half. So you hit them with three bullets. Poof, poof, poof. Yeah. And they do two die six each. So roll uh, six die six. six, die six. You can roll a three-sided dice, by the way, in this, even though those don't really exist. Oh, well, that's handy. So then you could tell. So you, you, you guys following? It's a real basic. <laughs> uh, he was just standing there, though, and there's the range was perfect. He was like 50, 60 feet away. You didn't hit the girl, okay, because all three of your bullets hit him, and they didn't go through, but it was close. She's close, so you guys got to be careful. Well, whatever. <clears throat> more. So damage, you did... Ten. You, you got to roll more than that. You got to roll... Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right? He's got a... Boy, yeah, because it's two die in... six per bullet. That's a powerful gun. Oh, so it's uh you gotta roll three more. Yeah. Oh. Okay, and he is definitely the blood spurts and there's punctures and he just flips backward <clears throat> and the gun just falls out of his hands and he he's blasted. Like dead. Nice. Yeah, he didn't. You you got him before he could shoot. Well done. Sparky, look! Yeah. And he Turn just ah, and he drops off. And uh, now we have the other soldier. Wait a minute. No, no, that Sparky. was him. Pardon me. Yeah, Sparky's like, oh shit! And he's spinning around. He got your grease gun out, or what do you have? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've got the grease gun ready. I got the M3 ready. So I'm going to <clears> single burst guy. Or rapid. Um, yeah, I'm going to try single. I mean, a, a burst. Okay, so but, three well, rounds. Yeah. Can I just roll the attack on the on the M3 first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good shot. Now roll six sided. Uh, one six one d six. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> and Sarge, you're next, by the way. And you okay, can tell um, that the left flank was a little bit too strung out. They didn't to the trees and the noise and excitement, and the snipers crouching down. He just didn't see you. And Doc, is, is, where the fuck's Doc? You're like spinning around. What happened to this guy? Well, I'm still waiting for damage from. Okay. Our, what did you roll for six sided? Oh, was that right? or, was it one, or did I just need to roll one d six or three d six? There you one go. One no, you dice. Did, you did a burst, right? So you got yeah. three. Yeah, but I'm. I needed you to roll six sided die divided by two. That's how many bullets from your oh, burst oh, hit oh, him. Oh, oh, just oh, roll oh, a one d three then. Yeah. Roll a 1D3. Or, yeah, one dice. Yeah, that works too. If you don't want to type it in, just go to the dice on the left side of your. Deep yeah, that's the Is that macro working now? That's what oh, I've been yeah. using. I have my dice roller open. Like yeah. on the roll 20 map, on the left, okay, there's so a taskbar. It's got a little right, die in it. Five, two and a half. Because I divide that by by two, right? Yeah, so that's actually three bullets hit it. So you're using, that's a small caliber weapon. It does one die six per bullet. And so, so you hit three so bullets, so three die six damage, in which you rolled a 12, and right. he's dead. Excellent. Well, maybe not quite dead, but he's down. Like, he kind of slumps over and he's moving a little bit. And before you could even shoot him another round into him, the girl is is uh, snatched up the K98 and just uses the butt and starts whacking him, this German. Well, good for her. My turn. Okay, yeah, now... Then yeah, I'm you just see yell. this happen, Sarge. You're like, whoa, good shot, guys. Uh, no, I'm going to yell out. I'm going to yell out. Six o'clock, 100 meters. And that means that, and this is a common command, that I want you to run behind us at our rear down this way, 100 meters, because we want to break contact. Okay, now make your charisma or uh, persuasion at advantage. Okay this time because you're using a, a verbal yelled command. Now there's gunshots going off and stuff, so That's they may okay. still not hear it. So now you get advantage though. So 
Okay, everybody gets the order. Everybody hears feed hundred hundred, and the training kicks in, um, and you immediately prepare to withdraw hundred meters, which is quite or hundred feet or hundred meters. Hundred meters. Okay, so that's quite a ways. I want us to get quite a ways away from those Germans. <laughs> right. So six o'clock, one hundred meters. That should be due this way. Okay, oh, the the three soldiers remaining. Last you saw them snipe, was they were immediate. You know, <clears throat> they they had dropped. They'd been trained. They'd jumped behind cover. They I make a perception roll. They're having difficulty telling where the shot came from because you got the last guy. Nobody saw him getting hit, and the sound and everything's a bit tricky. So they they can't really tell where. It, it seems they were a bit just looking around. They know somebody shot somebody. So of course. They're being cautious. And then you, you retreated out of their view, I'm assuming, uh, if you follow in orders or whatever. Yeah, we're going to run. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, okay, so is this the start we're of a new round? Is, we it, can't... is this the start of a new round? Because I can't, like, I've already <clears throat> taken my turn this round. No, we got Sergeant Rock. We're down to the other soldier. He's dead. Uh, Doc's turn. What do you do, Doc? You get the order from Sarge? Yeah, I'm just going to. Fade back out because um, when you were ordering before, did you want us to engage a bit in combat, or does this uh, order just kind of supersede that? Like we should just head back. Just head back. Yeah. So my my command is, and this is the actual command. The military, when you yell out, it's usually used for artillery attacks, but I'll yell out a direction, a clock direction. So it'll either be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears> seven, eleven, or twelve, and a distance. So I yelled out, and six o'clock, 100 meters, and that means haul ass six o'clock for 100 meters. Yeah, it's six o'clock from your facing, from your original Unfortunately, line. I can only go 30 feet per round. Well, that's okay. However many rounds it takes us to get there, I'm trying to get us to break contact. Right. Yeah, and you guys break contact. So, And they don't seem to know where they got shot from. Like, I made a roll, and they're a bit... They're they're crouching around, and they're not sure what to do. It appears, and then you guys retreated back in the tree line. So you guys do so. Um, so snipe, you can move back as well. Everybody can move back to a line out of sight. Now, you guys get back, and they don't seem to be. Nobody seems to be running after you, um, and there's no gunshots or bullets whizzing. Uh, you're not sure what the girl did. We she... didn't take out that second German that was right there. Is he injured or is he just? He, I don't care if he's dead or she, injured. He dashed his brains in with the rifle. Yeah, oh, she I, did. I took him. I took him down, and then she picked up his rifle and beat his brains in. Yeah, he was actually still alive. He was getting up, kind of. He was trying to run. So what did crawl she do? She just fucked off. You're not sure. The last you saw of her, she was. She had the rifle and she was running back up the hill the opposite direction we need to go yeah and i i don't care about her i want to take out that gun emplacement so it doesn't kill any more paratroopers <laughs> yeah and it's it's stopped briefly they might be getting more ammo or something and as it's been doing through the night but there's still planes going over top Ooh, this droning yeah. sound from up above and we're going to try to skirt around where we think there are people so i'm going to zoom out a little here and i'm going to draw on the map you said that it's somewhere over here, right? The gun emplacement? Yeah, it's somewhere, yeah, in deep in okay. the farmstead. So here's my plan. The plan is, um, this is just to you as a GM, I want to move the unit here, then I want to move here. Now that, that's going to be open here. in the field. Oh, well, I want to use cover in the wood line as much as possible to get there. Yeah, so those squares are basically uh, June 6th. I know, I can't see on the map, but I'm just telling you that we're going to try right. to move in cover when possible. So the tree line ends. You did notice that there was a quaint little uh, building in the forest uh, uh, that Snipes would have saw and Fred. And then you guys come to the other side of the, of the cosp of trees. And on beyond there, what should have been a crop is now sort of, downridden and there's bunk there's some uh shell holes and whatnot and burnt burnt very limited cover into the fields 
Is right? there a place that we can move to somewhere over here that has cover? Yeah, you could exit the whole area. Now, there's large fields in front of you, and there's a river on the other side of the fields. It's not on the map. The map runs out, I realize. But you do know that there's a river close by. You saw it when you jumped and stuff. And it probably cuts off. Like, you won't be able to cross it. Well, you can swim it, I but guess. But there'll be a river bank, right? Yep. And we can use that as cover to conceal our movement. So we'll move along But you would the have river. to cross fields to get well, to the river bank. To, I mean, we have to do what we have to do. We can't stay there. So my plan <clears> is to move <throat> along the river bank, if possible, this way. So who's watching, yeah. your, who's watching your rear? Uh, uh, GM, I, I think I'm a, a fantastic hider. I don't know where my character is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you are taking Gunny? Uh huh. What'd you do with him? He disappeared. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, I'm looking at him like, what did you do with him? I'll be right back. Did you delete him or something? I, I might have. I was trying to delete some text, and I. I, I don't have. think you can delete your own token. I think uh, Darren might have done that accidentally. I could be wrong, though. I may have. Uh, okay, my apologies. I'll have to set that up. So, guys, I was going to take a, 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 a three-minute break. Everything's been going well. I appreciate it. I was just going to bio break here in a minute. I'm not. We're going to go to theater mine at this point because you guys are leaving the area, the map area. Five. I'm going to go smoke a doobie. Can, can we keep uh, stay in roll twenty though to use the character sheet? Oh, of course. Um, yeah, and I'll yeah. figure out your token. What happened there? That's bizarre. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, bio bank. It was like and it was like here break. somewhere. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were up there next to me. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I'll have to just. But then, I heard six o'clock, one hundred meters. So that's what I did until I ran out of trees. <laughs> <laughs> I can only go three thirty. Oh, I, I think I know what happened. When you, uh, I, I was drawing, and I think it just got deleted. <coughs> like, yeah. Uh, you died. Stepped on a mine. I just realized what character I am. <laughs> I'm uh, Vin Diesel in Saving Private Ryan. So were you the medic? Or no, was that was, Gunny? I'm Gunny, yeah. Okay. Well, try not to lose this one. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I need to know who would be kind of watching the rear. If you guys are moving... That'd be me, because I'm in the rear. Well, yeah, that's a good point. I'm also bigger than everyone. I'm like a giant compared to you guys. And now, too, um, Peter, that order wouldn't help. I mean, it was just to go 100 meters. And, I mean, we weren't... We weren't... We were... We were doing that in, and not necessarily waiting on is that accurate okay back sorry about that yeah we were just we were just breaking contact we weren't to get away from to get away from the ss okay all right so sarge you want to leave the map area then we're going to theater mine then you're going to creep across the field um no i in a danger area you don't move slowly through a danger area i'm going to get everybody online and we're going to run across that field to the river would would that be where we would do what we were saying send half of fire team a and fire team have that half no not when you're crossing a uh for this one i it's i just want everybody in line to run across all at once there are two ways to cross a danger area. One is if you don't feel there's going to be imminent contact, then you do it in the way I described before. But if you think that there could be contact, you, you want to get everybody as cross as fast gotcha. as possible. So we're going to line up in line, and we're all going to run across together. Okay. Do we, uh, Darren, do you want to take that bio break, and then let's do that when we get back? Sounds good. Perfect. Okay. All right. Back in just a couple minutes. And let me know. I hope you guys don't think I'm being too bossy. I'm just trying to play like if we're the real thing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I think it makes sense. 
I think it makes sense. <clears throat> All right, just a moment. Fuck you, Sarge. <laughs> I'm the size of a giant. You are nothing compared to me. Look at me. Look at my token. <laughs> God, that's huge. All right. It is. You know what's cool? Military tactics just work. Like, it's it's awesome that you can. I can actually see it in the game working. You know, kind of cool. And I'm actually using real infantry tactics. These these are the things we learn. And even though it's been 30 years since I've been in the army, man, you just that training is so intense, you just you never forget it. Mm-hmm. We don't have a radio. That's kind of a bummer, man. If we had a radio, I could fucking call in artillery, but oh well. Open up your character sheet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go point. down to equipment. Type in radio. <laughs> yeah. Give us one. It, I should I'm, check to see if we actually had it, but I don't see it. I only see blank. Well, uh, I don't think, like, for example, when, um, let me open up my character sheet real quick. Yeah, if anybody has a radio, let me know. <laughs> uh, I went out and did, uh, like, a quick, what what am I carrying equipment list-wise? Like, I got a cricket noise maker. I have an entrenching tool. Two MK2 grenades. One gammon bomb. A um, machete combat knife and a switchblade. Zippo lighter, wire cutters, uh, TL-122A flashlight with the three or four different colors you can change in the lens. A, lumina, luminos, a luminous disc, compass, tiny steel hacksaw, a rayon two-sided map oh, set. Awesome. Uh, I got your bazooka ammo. I got two more loads for that. Um, I'm carrying 300M 1918R reloads. I have I'm one sure. pound of C2 plastic explosives. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you got awesome. the kit? Is that the actual kit? Yeah, that's uh, one of the old World War II uh, paratrooper kits. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So we would have everybody has two rounds. Two rounds, by the way. Two rounds too. Yeah, that would have been for sure. We would at least have one or two bazooka rounds. No, and and Peter, I like the way you're playing your character. I I think that's cool. Like you know, the sergeant's giving orders and going gung ho, and uh. I'm but things could change, I mean, in the confusion of battle. Here. That's why I make you roll persuasion and charisma <laughs> rolls to see if your orders are being followed or heard even. I'm probably killing the role playing because I know you want us to interact with that French girl, but you know what? The mission, man. <laughs> hey, dude, that's perfect. And there's a famous between, book, now doc. Guys, yeah. By a book by a you, guy named Peter Blaber, who was the commander of Delta Force during the attack on Tour of War. And it's called the mission, the men, and me. And that's actually a military term for what are the most important things. Number one is a mission. Number two is the men. And you are last. Mm -hmm. Doc. I know, I know what you mean, though, Darren. I was reading my character review. And yeah, in that situation, I would have had to go after the girl for sure. Yeah, so met metagaming, yeah. that's Just bear in mind your... Your personality traits are powerful. They are what you are. 
and you guys can do with what you want with the rest. Uh, you're from Boston. You're family man, right? You're God-fearing. You're a believer and Bible thumper, as most people of this age are, kind of. But not, you're like a wholesome human. And So, uh, Sarge, you're, are you guys currently in a front-facing line at the moment, or are you wedge? Yeah, I'm trying to get everybody in a front-facing line, and then we're going to dash across that field to the river, river bank, and we're going to hide behind the river bank as cover. Okay, I'm going to put Snipes on the wing because he's a sniper. So I'm just going to range you guys. My apologies. And you guys can also face your characters, which could be important. You actually, if I look and see you're looking at the enemy, you may have a better chance of seeing them. Okay, hopefully we're all facing toward the south. Where am I? I'm trying to find my character here. I got well, then who's character. watching your back, right? Is Well, we don't care. We're maneuvering forward, man. We're running. Okay. Yep. Running forward. So you get the tree line and then you say go to the riverbank and you all go? Yep. Okay. Hopefully. Uh it's it's safe. And you appear to be unnoticed, and not only that, there's no gunfire or follow up. Uh three soldiers are probably very much uh confused and cautious at this point you surmise if they're not running after you guys or shooting at you guys they're probably not aware so you guys right. get to the you get to the river and it's about a you know quarter kilometer further south and the river bank goes east west at this point uh, a bit of an angle a bit northeast and southwest and you could follow it either way at this point it's rough a bit rough going on the in the bank but yeah, secure. so we're going to try to maneuver that way, due west. Okay, and, and sure enough, that direction, you see there's a bridge up ahead, and the bridge has a road on it, or railroad, that goes across and turns to the left and follows the river, but also uh, there's a road that follows along the, the tracks, the railroad tracks, that goes to the chateau or the uh, farmstead. And so and we'll, you guys, we don't want to be on the road, but we may parallel the road in the woods. I can't really see over there, but um, we want to move from cover. Once we get over there, we want to move then up toward the gun emplacement using cover as much as possible. I can't right. even see half the lines I'm drawing here, but I know you probably can. <laughs> yep. So everybody is. Now you see a column of vehicles driving over the railroad tracks and they're, they're German armor. Okay, back. Sorry. Oh, we're going to hide in the wood line right They're here. far enough away, though. You guys just crouch down. They don't see you. Like, they got, it's dark. They got some slitted headlights on and such so they don't drive in the river. But you see that there are some armor and some half tracks and command vehicles and stuff. Like, this is a full-on... Uh, and you try to make out insignia or something, and you can actually make out something definitely on a lot of the fenders of the vehicles, and and in one of the there's a staff car that was in amongst it actually that cracks across the railroad tracks and they're all clunk 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 clunk, clunk. you know probably the main bridges have been taken out or something so they're using this railroad track bridge, and they're I'm gonna make a salute report in my head. What salute stands for is size activity location, uniform, time, and equipment. So in my head, I'm just going to make a, a mini salute report so I can uh, give that to upper chain of command if it's necessary. Okay, can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. I'll type it in, by the way, if, just so you can remember it. So it's called Roger. salute, and it stands for size, activity, location, uniform, Time. Okay, you see it, it. Well, you can stay here and watch it. It would. It's going to take about ten minutes yeah, for everything yeah. to go by. We're gonna. We're gonna try to maneuver. I just see a big skull on my screen now, but we're gonna try to maneuver in cover toward that gun emplacement. No, scroll out, pan way out. It's, you'll see. Okay. There's a symbol. It's a fist. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I see that. And it's on a shield, black shield. 
and that's prominent on a lot of the vehicles and they're camouflaged and stuff too they're covered yeah. in branches and everything so it's hard to make out anything else i think uh, it's a certain ss waffen ss unit but so i'll try to memorize that and you're training you're trying to recall like you guys had quite a bit of intelligence on the units here and the symbols and whatnot so you could make an insight roll with advantage what about a history? Maybe add that to a journal since he said he was going to remember it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll add, uh, I'll make that insight, insight roll. And click show to players on it, and then anything in the journal will just pop Sorry, up. Sorry, gosh, side. you're really quiet. 11 yeah. is my hive. So say again, Josh? If you just put something in journal, you can click show to players, and it will just pop up on our screen, and then it will also stay in journal. So you don't have to switch the map every time. Okay. No, that works as well. It's yeah. called adding a handout. Yeah. Yeah, I did that with the weapons. I just found that time. I don't see the journal. Oh, there I go. I see it now. Perfect. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, so it's hard. They're heavily camouflaged. So, but you did see the symbol a few times. This unit was a, a, a local. It's an SS unit. And did you roll your roll? I did. I rolled an eleven. To 11. Okay. One second. It's an SS unit, and I'm trying no, to. We find can't it. see anything, bro. No, you don't have to. Uh, I'll bring you back to the other one. Oh, I had this written up. Where is it? One moment. By the way, um, did everybody check their equipment to see if they had a radio? If anybody has a radio, It'd be huge. It's World War Two. Yeah, they had these. Obvious if we had a radio, it would be huge, huge. None of you guys. Thing. Yeah, I already said none of you guys had this one. Yeah, I was just checking. Yeah. Oh wait, there it is. Okay. Okay, this is the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier Division, and this one you just remember it faintly because it had something to do with it was, um, it was ra the division was raised near Portiers in France. And it was formed from scratch with the majority of its original cadre coming from replacement units and conscripts. But there were also a lot of, at this point, they were getting a bit desperate for manpower. So they were taking uh, the dregs of our collaboratists, yeah. right? So there were actually, there's actually Frenchmen in this SS division. There are Poles, there are uh, Austrians, um, Italians. It's known as a, and then you, you recall something about it. It's like, yeah, they're, they got a reputation for being nasty. And considering that some of them are French men that decided to join the Germans wholesale. And they formed up this 17th SS Panzer Grenadier Division. And that's what you kind of, those are the rumors you heard about it. You don't know much about the, the command struct or the officers or whatnot, but this is clearly a significant battalion sized formation. Uh, there were, you saw some Strungovich 3s, Hs and such, uh, self-propelled guns. You saw a couple 88s being pulled. It's a well-equipped division. Um, a, uh, no Panthers, though. Or any, they were mostly self-propelled guns and had AT weapons. But what does catch your eyes near the end, when they're kind of peeling off and heading down west, disappearing, one of the uh, Strungovich 3 Gs, peels off of the formation and drives up the road towards the farmstead. Okay. Just so you know, and it's going to be coming up this road in about a minute or so. Which road? I still see the Yeah, the we still aren't on the map. Oh, right. I got to bring you back. Okay. Got it. So we're going to move exactly where my line was drawn because I see that there's cover. Roger. So he motions hand signals out. Let's move online in that direction. Roger. Now you can see all of a sudden the muzzle flash. <laughs> this 20 mil lights up and everyone's yeah, startled. We're for it. You all drop. Uh, but 
quickly realized that it's the AA gun firing up again. They must have got more ammo or whatever. That's where we're gonna head directly. And forward. it's it's firing. Now it's only been about. It's taken you guys about fifteen minutes to get around to this place. Now I'm gonna have. Uh, I guess Gunny's back there still, right? Is Gunny here? Yeah, I was just Close. listening. Yeah. yeah, I'm just listening. Actually, it would be Sparky. Make a perception roll. Okay, just a second. Perception. Well, you didn't say with or without advantage, so it's a 16 or an 18. It's the left one if I don't say anything. Okay. All right, then 16. Roger. I just have to bring in my tank. Give me one second. No, no, don't bring in your tank. That's stupid. <laughs> don't bring a tank in. Snipes is going to check towards the north to make sure that we aren't getting flanked. Right. Oh, see, I wasn't paying attention to the uh, roll 20 this entire time because I thought you said we we're switching to theater of mind. So I was just sitting here imagining it. Right, that was me too. <laughs> well, we came back into the map, so you actually haven't missed much. We just got back. We came from Thanks the... for moving me around. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, he's obeying orders unless he's saying otherwise. So what you do see is this tank come rumbling up the road uh, in between these two lines of, of hedges. So you can see it glimpse it once in a while through the gaps, and it's clang, 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 rumbling up the road and heading toward the... Uh, the farmstead. Uh, uh, snipe. Let's see what you can see a minute. Mm -hmm. um, we have a side shot on it. Mm. I I may order um, Gunny to shoot it. Now there's He's some the activity. The Just... Who's the guy with the bazooka? Fred. That's me. That's Sparky. Yeah. If you got a side shot on it, that's the tank's weakest area. Shoot it. Oh, wow. So we're going to have a, a bazooka around. Uh, what's our range here? Oh, you're definitely in range. 110 feet. That's definitely in range, but it has it's going in between the gaps of the, unfortunately, the hedge. So you won't be able to shoot it till it pops out the other side. Plus, there's you see the other trees in the way? See, right now, you, you just catch little flashes of it. You could shoot through the hedge if you could estimate where it was, but you'd be fine <clears> at a disadvantage. You could run to the hedge and shoot it. Yeah, you could run. If you get there in time, this thing's moving along. This thing's going like 30K. Just just wait for 20, it to or, go. Well, just wait for it to be in the opening. K. Just wait for it to be in the opening. Just shoot. Just aim right here, and then you can see it coming along. It'll give you time to get a good shot. They haven't seen this yeah, yet. There's no reason to reveal ourselves. There's still a hedge. That's kind of what I was thinking. There's well, how, a... how tall is how tall is the hedge? Yeah, that's just <laughs> shoot through the hedge. Shrub. But you'll be at disadvantage because you you don't have a eyes on. You can hear it and kind of estimate where it is. What? So how high is this hedge? I assume this looks like yeah, a tiny little saying. shrub how? on the on our map. No, 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 it's, it's like a, a big. That's a big hedge. And they're tall. They're it's huge and thick. Okay, well then, would it? You said is is it moving too fast? I can't. I can't. It's it's rumbling along get a shot. by twenty five kilometers an hour. It's like yeah. Oh, I'll God. signal to him to to run up to it and uh, and you know to run over here and shoot it. No, it'll have to slow down when it gets to the corners and stuff. It probably is going to slow down. Okay. Kilometers. Here's my here's my idea. If I, Okay, hold if on. I'm, Let's roll the... initiative first, okay? And then we'll okay. go through and I'm see what we're going to do. I'm also going to signal for Lance to go with him as a reloader. Oh, okay. So Lance... So the two of you... Uh, now, everyone roll initiative, and then you tell me what you want to do, and we'll run with it. Now, you're only going to have a small opportunity. This thing's going to be driving by you and slowing down. Everybody roll? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Sparky, you get the orders from Sarge. Take it out. Okay. And, uh, I would like to, what I would like to do is run to this 
little group of trees and take my shot from there when it slows down to get this corner before it makes its turn because I don't want to shoot it. I'm trying to shoot it in the side, but if I'm right. here, you shoot in the I'll rear. still have a shot. I mean, when it turns yeah, to go down the road, you could shoot it in the that's rear. True. That's true. I could just shoot it in the rear. I won't have to worry now, about the front. You're going to have to sprint because athletics check, right? Okay. Because this thing's moving so, like to catch up with it and get the shot before it takes right, it, so, off. It's moving quicker than you can run. That's in the, that would be an athletics check and not acrobatics, correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm gonna now next we'll to go to shoot it twice. Shoot it twice. Make sure. Doc, what do you do? Oh, just a moment. Uh just type in. Uh what I'm gonna do is uh I guess if we're just gonna be moving up this main line, uh I'm just gonna get a bit of a better view up in these trees here. I'm gonna just move up a little and you know, not try to give away any position. Still try to keep in this line here that we have going. And, and I'm also going to signal to them, if I can, to break contact after they shoot it and come back. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, so who's do, next? I, do I see any? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Snipe. Yeah, I was just going to say, what do you what do? You do? Well, I, I had rolled last turn the perception, and I never... Okay. Yeah, because he didn't see anything. Yeah, um, and it was quiet. Now make one at disadvantage because it's not, you, technically it's out of your sight, but I'm going to see if you see something. Okay. It's a long. Be right back. Six. Oh, so I threw. Okay. So uh, no, you don't see anything. You're you're pretty careful though, and you got the tire. You got the north flank. You got the tree line, and but you do notice. There's some activity at, over in this direction. There's, so you heard faintly some barking orders in German, and a couple doors slam shut. And then uh, we'll go on okay, to. I'm just gonna whisper to Doc uh, action north, and let him let them know and keep watching it. Okay. Ten four. Should we just like pass that down the line, or is Josh uh, saying Roger. it to everybody? And Doc. If uh, remember, if you're in too deep in the tree line, you won't be able to see very far. So, Doc, if you guys want to go to the edge of the tree line, you'll be able to. You'll well, this have. This is like a ridge, right? You not. This is a bunch of shrubs. Okay, so and this is just the copse of trees. This is yeah. like a hill, kind of. Yeah, but more shrubs. Well. Yeah, more shrubs, like small alder, alders, and. But, but so it is a hill, or it's not, because that changes not, if you're at not, the top of a flat. hill, even if you're in. Okay, okay. Then I'll just be on on the edge. Okay. Yeah. So, Doc, you can make a perception roll as well, because you and Sniper are watching down the road there. Okay. We'll do. Oh, you just caught the edge, and then it went out. You saw somebody flick a cigarette butt. Whereabouts? Uh, it was like right here. Okay, shit. And it, 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 you just saw it hit the ground. You actually can't tell where the person was or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just saw these sparks as the cigarette butt explodes. Yes. Yeah, so I want to let the guys know that there's a uh, there's some activity going on directly west of us over there, 150 feet. Uh, who's left? Everyone moved so far, so we can conclude their our sprint here. Did you roll for that sprint? That athletic check, Sparky. And Gunny, I'm going to get you to make a perception roll at disadvantage, please. You're you're the farthest back, so you're actually the back of the cost. We don't know who's with this tank. That's the problem. We might just end up running up to a bunch of people because if these shrubs are high, we can't really see around it. I guess we can just kind of hear it and see the very top of it. Not How even. Seeing the no, tank you, if the shrubs are higher. You can just we see just... it through little flickers, and it's night out as well. And it's dark, right, so, so you can no just... idea if it's got an escort or what. No, no, you could tell it was just a, this tank peeled off from the rest. And zipped up the road on its own, apparently. Yeah, it'd be nice to take this out before it regroups with everybody, and then we can take the gun out. Yeah, uh, it's so, got no infantry support, so that's awesome for us. Well, you didn't see the cigarette butt explode. Okay, so the guys I heard to the north were quite far away, right? Just to confirm. Yeah. Okay. And there's and the guns opened up again, and uh, there's more whoop whoop whoops in the distance as. Uh, 
continued effects of the war go on in the, the mass. Uh, do your sprint, Sparky, and I need that perception check from Lance. Oh, sorry, I see it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see the girl oh, crawling up behind you guys. <laughs> Wait, who sees the what? what? Well, I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, but you take off. And did you make uh, your athletics check? Okay, 13. So you come running over there. The tank was moving pretty quick, and you rolled it. Not a great roll, but you did pass. And the tank does turn. And you will get a shot off. And so, it's actually a pretty damn good shot. So hit it. Yeah, I guess. You could let her rip. Don't do it, it, do it, boy. No. Oh! Now I have there's armor factors on the tank, right? Um, I'm using advanced squad leader armor factors for Strimgovit, and its armor plating on the rear is a three. And that is a miss. Okay, well, we were going to try to take two shots, he said, right? All right. Ching! The round just skips off some armor on the back of it and two arcs into the ceiling. And I'm going to make a perception roll because there's a guy standing beside the tank. Wait, what did he shoot it with? Because uh, I'm pretty sure he shot that with a bazooka. Yep. I did, but it could very well be that it was a dead round or that it glanced off or... And yeah. it was a tiger tank, Ben. Those tanks are tough. Yeah, but this no, this was a Strumgovich, a self-propelled gun, so no oh, turret, yeah. right? It has armor and everything. The rear armor's not great. You just hit maybe a seam or like you said, a dud. Who knows? He rolled like shit. Um, missed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he rolled like shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was really it. <laughs> so make a athletics roll to see if you can reload in time to shoot <laughs> next round. Sorry. Okay. Would that be athletics or would that be acrobatics? Oh, acrobatics. Athletics. Acrobatics. Yeah. Because it's better for me. <laughs> no, because you're just articulating the round in there, and get and hopefully you can shoot it next round. Oh, oh. oh maybe he's just well, like he, jamming the ram in there, the round in there. You know, Damn, so this is oh, yeah. yeah. football well, son. He's in there, lads. Yeah, his head. Wouldn't I be? Then, wouldn't then I be the one athletics. making the acrobatics? Oh wait, wait, yeah, he's going to reload. Gunny's going to reload. Right? Yeah. Would that be on me? Yeah. And then you tap on the head when the round is reloaded. Right. It wouldn't be, that's, yeah. That's I would, otherwise, why would he be there? there? He's for sure there to reload him. Why would he Gentlemen? be standing there? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. That was my bad. What do I need to roll for the reload? Are you finessing it in there or jamming it in there? I got an IQ of seven. Let's go with uh, <laughs> He's jamming. a football player. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Athletics roll it is. Nice. Got Meanwhile... Let's move on to the other players. You guys see this all go down. You see them shoot, and then you guys, <laughs> shit. You see the round skip off, and poof. Um, you we hear some the yelling in German. Us, Achtung! You hear this Do I yelling out. Soldier? It's a soldier who's standing beside the tank. Is our stock uh, up? And he appears not to be that? alone. There's, there's couples. Uh, you're not sure how many, but this one guy's yelling, Axtong Panzerfaust! And he's yelling a bunch of German. And the tank is stops and is starts to pivot. <laughs> now, uh, let's do a new round of initiative. And you guys get advantage. So you can roll twice and take the highest number. Are we going to finish this con this turn first? Uh, I thought we were done. I thought I did everybody. No, no. Well, uh, you looked, you missed, and he looked, and he saw the cigarette burst. No, that was last. That was last turn. They were move. That was the turn before this. Then they just moved yeah. and shot, and now so they shot. That was the next turn. Right, so right, right. We need to uh, finish this turn. The rest of the people in the turn order. Yeah, snipes and and Sarge snipes, haven't done anything yet. Yeah, Doc, snipes, and Jonathan all have oh, Okay. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. Johnny I, uh, just went because he was right there. Yeah, I didn't click the thing. Do I see these guys? I don't know. Do you? What do I? Uh, do no, you would have to move forward 
If you oh, can't I'm see him, you can't see him, right? Uh, Doc, what yeah, are you doing? To move forward. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't see the girl, right? No. And she's okay. behind us? No. Oh, it depends if Gunny told you. He just he saw her and went like, fuck, and then he got up and ran. Yeah, we're a little busy for her. What was I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> well, look at your background, too. I don't know. I, I forget what you... Uh, what type I made you, whatever, but no, that's not necessarily what you do. This is combat. You're trained. Hey, if you know, ignore the civvy. Uh, but you may want to tell your mates, but you may not have time. You're running across, holding this round, and when he shot, you ran this shell in. Right. And uh, so let's pretend now that you just ran up and you didn't have time even to tell them that the girls was there. So everybody, you don't know. Doc, you're at the tree line. Do you see anybody? Uh, yeah, my line of sight, I can see that one guy standing right beside the tank. I'm just wondering, um, I'm not quite sure how this system works, like how good my uh, weapon stats are, like if I'd just be more of a suppressing fire kind of thing. What weapon do you have? You have the folding yeah. stock uh, carbine? Yeah, carbine? Yeah. That's an effective rifle um, right. at this range. Like You can do a burst fire with that. I don't think it's full auto. Okay, well, sure, I'll try the burst on that, uh, this guy right here. Okay, so three-round shot, you you make, you hit the die, but it's minus three. And his AC... You're 150 be feet, too. And I think you would be, I don't know if you're taking uh, range into consideration, but I know with D&D, &D, anything above 90 feet is another negative as well, unless you have yeah, that specifically for that. Now, if he had the stock out, this is, it depends. If it's an assault rifle or rifle... Um, I forget, I had the ranges posted in the event chart. But I, let me have a quick look here. I accidentally click that. 150 feet. That's a pretty, that's not too hard of a shot. That's No, I, I'm going to say that's like just, yeah, that's medium. That's that's short range. Like zero, I think it was zero to 150 is was the short range on a rifle. So fire away. You only get the minus three because the burst fire. Sounds good. So what do I roll? One die six and then divide that? You can use the macro for the okay. hit on yeah, your I, weapon I, and your character. Okay. I, I mean, I already clicked that. So oh, shit. It. Okay. So you got 18. That's a hit. Um, now, I gave him some cover, but you still hit because he was kind of a little bit crouched behind the building. He wasn't sure what was going on. And he had, I gave him 30% cover. So I that would have meant he was plus six AC. I he would have 16 straight. AC. You still hit with an 18. Everyone follow that? That's how it's kind of working. Yeah. Okay. So you hit, you rolled six, only one bullet hit him. And that is a medium uh, caliber. I'm so be that's, prone, by the way. <laughs> that's one die, 10 damage. Okay, I'll roll that. Shit. How'd you do? Two. Not good. I just realized something. Give me a second. Why oh, can't no. Two damage? Okay. Yes. You, you you think you clipped him. You because you see him kind of twitch a bit and he climbs, he goes back. Well, he's gonna He's, he's going to retreat behind the building and get cover. You, you did wing him, but unfortunately, I didn't take him down. And the other two bullets got to shot at him anyway. Oh. Unless if I can wait, do I have line of sight on this guy? You can barely see him. Now, if it's Actually, in the. I can see this guy. Oh. And I'm prone and ready to go. I have my range, no range disadvantages for being prone with the snipe. Okay, he's got. I'm going to give him 20% cover. From the tank. Okay. And so he's. Can I that, use that those two MPs four. above? So yeah. 18 or 19 or 20 are all crits, and I get an additional extra roll if I crit. Okay, let her rip. You're at. He has a. <clears throat> his AC is 14. Nice. I think that did it. Ouch. Indeed. So and three rolls for damage. Seize red mist. Can you guys see that? <laughs> 25. Yeah. Nicely done. He is, uh, describe how you take him out. Well, it was the quick, the quick double shot, quick double tap. Oh, my. Black, black. 
and yeah, you see blood spray back, and he spins, and the tank is pivoting, and he is definitely down. Crack, 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 and everything's happening really quick. Uh, who is next? That was Snipes. Would be Sarge, if he were doing anything. Now, Gunny, did you manage to reload that bazooka? Yeah. Yes, he did. I don't. I don't know. Actually. He rolled a twelve. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah. He rolled a twelve athletics. Well, you know what? I didn't roll for the initiative on the tank. This is still all the first round, though. Yeah, okay. This is the round of us jumping. So they the shot, reload, yeah. new round, right? I uh, got just Sarge left. Okay, Sarge. You've been given orders, watching stuff. Actually, I'm going to give you a perception roll to see uh, at disadvantage to see if you see your guest. Okay, then... Shit. Is the tank actually completely turned around yet? No, no, no. It won't. Then I'm no. going to tell him, take a second shot, then break contact. Yeah, you'll be able to get at least a side shot. Uh, what did you roll, roll on the reload? 12. Okay, I was hoping you'd get another rear shot, but you'll probably get a side shot. It's side armor is 5. So anyway, this next Johnny, or no, Sarge still has to go. You're you're taking yeah, all this. I'm just going to yell out an order. Um. Well, can I can I shoot this guy then? Can you uh, can you see him? I don't know. Oh, line of sight. Yes. You're back in the trees, and you cannot see him. You're too far back in the tree line. Okay, fair enough. I'm just going to tell him take a yep. second shot and break contact towards us. You see, snipe. Crack. Crack. Two quick shots. Got one. And Jim's like, fuck, I missed. <laughs> <Hang her down>. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, the tank's spinning now. Next, it's going to take spread a full out, round to spin around. If he takes an HE shot at us, we'll all be dead in this little group. We need to either all back together or spread out. I hope that bazooka works this time. So it's spinning around. You hear this this German yelling out orders. Um now I have to give uh, Sarge a bit more visibility. Give me one second. I'm going to expand your guys' visibility. I didn't realize how uh... it'll take me a second to quickly spin around and do this. Why are you spinning around? No, I meant I'm just uh, going around <laughs> everybody. <laughs> He's me. No wonder it's taking you so long. You just keep spinning around every time. I know. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody should see a little further now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. House pools, if you click on your token and click the, the uh, cog that's there, and then you can fill the top bar that says bar one with your health pool. And that bar will pop up. And also, when you take off points, you can just take it off on the bubble on the token at the top. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I'm not even paying attention to you guys right now. I'm uh, writing down what dynamite does for damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I could be prepared. Okay. Oh, I'm almost ready, oh, guys. Um, dyna dynamite, gammon bombs, grenades. Well, I couldn't find any of the rules for any of that. So I went to the uh, 5e. Firearms, explosives, and alien technology table and dungeon master guide. Okay, so we're back on track. This tank is spinning around. Uh, you guys are in trouble. The damn fucking bazooka bounced off it. Were you keeping that round dry? Of course. Oh yeah, I was hanging in a tree. I was I was way above water. Made in America. <laughs> okay. I'm so gonna ready a smoke. It's thing spinning around, and you can hear the uh, the guy beside the tank yelling at it, yelling. And there's a there's a hatch opens on the top, and this this head bobs up real quick and is yelling down. What? And this guy's like he's pointing at the tree line. And let's uh, we could just go with the old initiative order or what? It's up to you. Uh, uh, we should do reroll. Okay. And you guys get advantage again. So best out of your two rolls. 
I didn't do that last time. Oh, well, it only rolled once, but I got an 18, so I'll 12. take it. I go at 12. Let me take the gum on me. It put the lower roll in. Okay, so you got 12. That was uh, rock. Okay. Well, I rolled a four for the tank. I, I, sh I shit the bed. And then this guy here. Ten, but that's can you change 12. my initiative? I don't know if you can or not. I just did. Okay, awesome. Or did I? You can see it. Up oh, no. Okay, yeah. There we go. All right, this is the new order. Snipes. You see a tantalizing, tantalizing target. It's a new order. Are you there, Josh? Uh, shoot him. I got a twenty-one. I, yeah, Gunny oh. got a twenty-one. That was his best roll. Oh well. Okay, hold on. I'll change it. Got it. What's this guy's armor class? I got a fifteen. No, who? Which one are you shooting? Oh, it's the, the guy. One. Oh, oh no, there's no. another target on the. Team. No, he missed it. He missed it. <laughs> oh, no, no. There's two targets. There's two targets at the top left, but I can't see that line. Sorry, there is on the tank. The hatch opened, and you saw a head bob out, and was yelling oh, at okay. yelling at this Take guy. This guy Take has now he has about eighty percent cover. He's like okay behind the corner. Shoot the other guy. He's peeking. Don't shoot the tank commander if he's got that much cover. Shoot the other guy. Yeah, the tank commander, this guy would have about 60% cover. The tank commander would have 80% cover. It's like your top half of his head. Cover meaning, meaning what? It's harder to hit? Uh, that would be yeah. for the first. Now, the way I've been doing it is for the first 50%, you get plus two. And after that, you get plus one. So he would be 10. He'd be plus 12. Uh, that would be hard hit. Plus, it's it's going to be one per ten. Okay, hold on. I'm going to correct that right now. So if he has he had 80 percent cover, he'd be plus eight to his AC. His AC would be 18. Shoot the easier guy. And the other guy his would AC be 60 percent. He'd be 16 AC. Now you have advantage because you're prone and you were and you already shot at the one. Oh no, you didn't. You killed the other guy. I don't know if you have any uh, sniper advantages in this instance. Uh, Are you marks marks and points or whatever this, they're called? This, yeah, I do. But this this is for the one I can use this once per turn. So that's it basically gives me two turns in one shot. Okay, so you want to drop the guy by the building? I'm gonna drop the guy that's 16 first, because then if I get a hit, I get another attack. Okay, so you get your advantage, your proficiency, and dex bonuses. But is AC 16? Go ahead. 22. And that's a hit. You said I got advantage. Or there advantage. Go. So, yeah, 22. No, I was going to say, if you have the same target, you get advantage, but you killed the other guy. That's where I messed up. You, you follow? Okay. If, if you were shooting at the same target, I was going to say you get advantage if, as a sniper. But the different target, so that is a miss. Okay. And it just, just missed him. Um, who's next? All right, Fred, <laughs> you're up. Now this tank has AC. Wait, wait, well, I'm no, not... Gunny's ahead of me. Yeah, Gunny's got a 21. Oh, okay, I gotta do this. And he's reloading anyway, right? Did I do that last round? No, nope, yeah, it's yeah, reloaded. Yeah. He succeeded, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I tapped him on the head, and and so um, what do you want since, to do now? Since I'm just standing here. Yeah. Uh, apparently, in a really bad area. Since I'm going to move over a little bit. <laughs> you still have one round left of your own. You, each of you has two rounds for the bazooka. Okay, okay I'm go I'm going to uh, chuck a grenade over. Well, just like over there. Okay, you can hold down shift or and pinpoint exactly where you would like to throw it. Uh, da, 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 let's go over. And that'll give us a a pinpoint. Um, I'm holding down shift. It's just not. Oh, because you have well, your you have ruler on. Right? You have to go to select move in that taskbar on the left. Yep. You, that's one you little quirk of roll 20. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. Just Who has a bazooka? That's me, Sparky. You should, you should, you're going to fire the bazooka again at the tank, right? Right, right. 
Okay. Yeah, that's what well, he did it. Yeah, that's his move. Oh, and I was going to use a move. Powell. P O W L E. You know why? Powell was a Medal of Honor winner in the 82nd Airborne, and he actually jumped up on a road and took out like three tanks before he was killed with his bazooka. Oh, wow. So, well, Gunny, you're going to throw a grenade, right? Yeah, okay. like that. It's a pretty good throw, 100 feet. Uh, that's doable. Uh, make an uh, acrobatics check here. Um, Take it out again, Darren. Oh, pardon me. Oh, that'll stop the broadcast. That's too bad. All right. I'll pay. I'll pay. You say athletics down. check. If you guys want to read up on Private Towel, there he is. Uh, athletics check. Did you say? Oh no, it's still going. Yeah. Athletics. Yes. Okay. There you go. Nice. Uh, you you just do textbook grenade throw. And it lands where pinpoint exactly where you wanted it to. to I, I marked it with purple, purple oh, paint. I see. Okay, wham! It, uh, oh, that poor schmuck. Okay, roll a uh, six sided die. Um, okay. And this is see me... how much shrapnel this poor schmuck takes. All of it. <laughs> All of it. He's, he's within, uh, He's within. Um, We're all six sided, please. Twenty feet. Let's see. Hold on. I'm I'm looking for my page. I have like a whole bunch of things open. There it is. All right. There's my dice. Kaboom! One six sided. Roll. Okay. Now roll five dice six damage. As this guy takes a whopping. Okay, he's yeah. Um, you're not sure, but it landed right where you wanted it to land. Banked off the tank, came right back at this guy, and snipes. You can see this guy just kind of his one arm's blown off, and his face and head is kind of shredded, and he flies up and back behind the tank, totally dead. All right, I'm so, gonna ooh. let him know I'm gonna peel off and look north because I heard things earlier there, and I don't want to get flanked, so. I'm going to, like, uh, move maybe here. So, so far, things have gone well, but this tank is still rumbling. And, Fred, you are up. All right. Uh, we're going to hit him with the uh, hit him with the M9 again. I'm giving you plus one because it's the same target, and you're lined right. up. And plus, uh, yeah, it's got... Five armor, so at this point it's it's fifteen armor class. You get your proficiency, of course, and your dex bonus. Okay. And who's the guy with the bar? That is Gunny. Gunny yeah, we're Gunny's gonna with call me. you yeah. the Glopper. The Glopper was a bar. He had the bar, and he won the medal. Not won it. He was oh, killed. Yes. Nine twenty-two. World War Two with the eighty-second Airborne. Now you have to make a roll. I'm taking this from ASL. What happens is you have a two-hit roll. If it hits, now you look at the type of weapon. Um, okay. In this case, a bazooka 44, it's called, on this table. Bazooka 44s are pretty good. When they hit, they blow because they got a shaped charge head, like a Panzerfaust. So what happens is you take their armor factor and you minus it from this to kill number. And it so happens that this bazooka 44's kill number, once it hits, is deadly. It's like 18. So take that freaking tank out, my friend. Uh, the tank ruptures. Um, you see a little for a second. There's a bright hole in the side of the tank, right? You hit it right under the tracks, and it's what you were trained was a soft spot. And then suddenly the hatch blows outward at the top, and there's a bunch of smoke comes out of the top, and it it stops turning. It's and it seems to be smoking out of the turret. Out of the hatch. You know what? When I see that, I'm going to yell out with a thunderous airborne. Okay. And everybody else does what? Uh, I, he wants us to break contact. Where are we going back online? No, he yells out airborne. Yeah, but they knew to break contact because that was my order. Come on. <laughs> Everyone else is supposed to yell airborne. 
Absolutely. No, in response to Airborne, you yell all the way. Okay, there we go, gentlemen. I remember that. <laughs> Good to know. In unison, <laughs> one, two, three. All the way. way. All right. That's how we salute, by the way. We, we salute an officer in the Airborne. We say Airborne, and they respond all the way. All the way and then some. <laughs> we killed two giant Germans. Hold on, give me a second. It was the worst kind. Giant Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to put this in. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I'll remember that on my next trip to Germany. So, wow. Well done, you guys. That tank was serious, man. If that thing spun around, if you missed there... Oh my, 75 Snipes mil, high explosive round. <laughs> Snipes is shooting. Ah, yes. Now, it seems everybody's dead. There were uh, two soldiers there. Snipe, you're scanning the area. And it's like you see the, the, the uh, Stungovich is like, it's out. It's I'm done. Shoot. I'm going to shoot All that right, guy. Let's complete the mission. Let's go okay, after well, that. I'm uh, shooting this guy that's up to the north right here. I got a vision of him. Okay, you see these two guys up here running. They seem to be running toward the area. Great contact. Great contact. Which way are we going? So hold on. You, you hear the sniper rifle crack again. We want to go this way. We want I, to go I'd have advantage there, right? Yeah. Guys, I'm 200 feet away. I got yeah, if do. they don't see you as a sniper, so you always have advantage. Yeah. 23, and I burned three MPs there, so hopefully I kill this guy. So that's a natural or that's a crit and then when if i kill him then everybody around him has disadvantage on attack rolls hey if the bullet goes right through his center mass ruptures his heart he just falls right on his face instantly and the other guy runs for cover and you guys hear the orders to break and which direction sarge uh, i drew it on the map oh so you're heading parallel to the uh, activity yeah, we want to go. Yeah, we want to break contact and we want to head toward that anti aircraft gun. So, you guys can retreat back into the shrubbery area. Yeah, exactly. First, okay. Okay. so you guys can move now and we should yeah. have a uniform. Where uh, did the girl go? You don't know. I don't even care. Well, that's what I was going to look around for. The only for. person that knows about the girl was Gunny. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, and I was waiting for my turn. <laughs> okay, sorry, Gunny. Uh, now, you, just... of course, you clap Sparky on the back. Good fucking shot. Uh, Doc, your move next. Sorry. I'm just going to get in formation with everybody. We're going to do the wedge or the, uh, the line? Right. Uh, we're going to use the line because contact with the enemy is imminent. Okay. So wedge is for when contact is not imminent. The line is when contact is imminent. Okay. So what, what's, our, line over here. what's our order in the, on, the, on the line? Now, also be everyone just a second. Be careful that you you have to keep communications. Like um, whether or not you intend to or not, if you killed somebody, people not, might not know that. You have to say, "I got one," or "He's down," and there's one more. Else, nobody else will know. Is there a certain? Uh, I did say that I called that. If you're talking about from my shot, yeah, no, no, yeah, after. generally. But it's, where is? Uh, how many stories are these houses? Is there a higher higher house? This one here is a large barn that's multi-floored. And all the other ones are one floor? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, they are. These are all oh, small. Okay, what about if, what about if we clear that and I'll, and I'll get on the top floor there and provide cover while we move through this village? Now, your vision... Hold on, give me one second. No, no, okay, you don't see the windmill. Okay, forget it. No, you might have an encounter in there, though. Don't do that. Let's just move toward the objective. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I thought we were taking this village. We're going left. Here. Yeah, we're still going after the anti aircraft gun, right? Yeah, that's the main mission, man. It's shooting down planes. Now, the anti aircraft gun's here. Oh, okay. Then I want to loop around a little bit. I want to loop around like this. Okay, I'm going to erase a few of your lines a minute, okay? I'm going to delete that. Sorry. Yeah, give me a second. I'll get organized. You can delete them too after. Um, okay. Uh, I just want to have somewhere I can provide you guys cover from. This is um, what is I mean, this I over here? Pretty far. This area. Is this shrubbery? No, that's uh, shell holes. Oh. That's, 
a line of yeah, bunch of oh. bomb, bomb craters. Oh, you know what? Then I want to move back back down. Let's head back down this way. Back toward Gunny. Yeah, let's head back south. Because it's too much open area there, man. We could be shot. Do we need to uh, loot the guys any for information or whatnot? Nah, forget it. Let's complete the mission. Yeah, if we go just running, trying to figure out what happened. I mean, there's going to be a lot of Germans here soon. We just made a lot of noise. Exactly. I don't even so care. We should get moving. Complete the mission. Let's run south back toward the river and skirt around the activity. So we're not okay. spotted. Okay, I'm just busy doing stuff on the map, guys. So keep, keep going, okay. minute. Yeah. Uh, who is on? Okay, I need you guys to position your characters now in formal positions, and I'm going to give gone. you the benefit of the doubt. You have a few rounds to set up where you want to go in that whole shrubbery. Use me as the center. Now make sure you're facing. So get Alpha Team over here and Bravo Team over here. Okay, so Gunny and I would go on. Your left, right? Correct? Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm facing the fields now. And still in the tree line, right? Yep. Yeah, I haven't moved out. We're going to get in line in the tree line, and then we're going to sprint back toward the river. Hey, did you guys happen to see that girl? What girl? You mean the tank? Yeah, we blew it up. <laughs> no, no, no. The girl we saved a while back, she was crunching through the bushes. I was trying to tell you guys, but it got uh, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about it. <laughs> okay, was she hot at home. least? Yeah, that's all I'm really curious about. <laughs> yeah. Was she in the last Mac Maxim magazine? But I think she's only 13, so that's... Uh, so, right. Snipes, make a per perception check, Snipes. You're on the outside there. I can see the guys in the square. Um, okay. Make a perception roll. And I'm going to roll for them. All right, go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. That guy's peed on that tree over there. Okay, Snipes. You, these, these guys see you. And you, you you just fucked up. I don't know. It just you tripped and kind of got up, advantage. and you and you turned around and looked and and I had them on the screen for a little while. I was wondering if you would have saw them. I had them just on the edge of your your blurry vision. Yeah, I just shot a guy there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I definitely was watching there. But yeah, you were pulling back. I, I was just going to make it a normal perception. All right. Rolled, rolled a one. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to hightail it then. I've been yeah, it and they right away, ah, oh, and they, they're yelling and German and stuff. And okay, they, I'm going to throw that smoke I prepared. I prepared a smoke last round. Okay. Scroll up, you can see it. Ready as a smoke. I'm going to throw the smoke. Roger that. Distract them. All right, so now they saw Josh's character. They saw it, he they rolled a. To throw the smoke and get out of there. I'll be like, get yeah. out of here. You've been made. It's now. Uh, let's take a short little break, guys. Uh, how much longer you guys want to play for? We got to finish the mission. Till we take out that damn pounding thing. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> and these. No, uh, I've these... got a sporting headache from the hearing of the, the boom boom. Let's go ahead and uh, um, let's take the break and and come back and try to get to that. Uh... Well, we got problems. There's four guys that saw something. They're yelling and pointing. They're not sure. And they see the tank smoking on fire, and everything's just shit at the fan. These are guys that are coming down and check, check shit out, right? I threw a smoke in there. I rolled a 21 yeah. to throw it. Yeah, and so, boom. And so for now, you can pull so, back. Hopefully it gives us some cover. I kind of threw to the oh, left. Okay. Maybe yeah, you like, tell uh, guys, there's four of them coming. It would take a while for it to plume, but it, it would in that area. It'll yeah. take about one round. One round after you throw it, it plumes. Okay, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Awesome. We'll call her Amandine. <laughs>
I actually had two French interns, both Amandine. We had to call them Amandine number one. And oh, Amandine shit. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh, I had a bottle of wine fall down next to me. That just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> You know what, guys? I got to say that this feels very real. It's awesome. I don't know what you guys think, but it feels very real. Hmm. Where is the freaking thing here? Trouble with that, trouble with that. Okay, maps, monster, index. Don't much regard. Two sixty seven. Here we go. Poor Amandine is trying to get into the story. <laughs> How much would C2 plastic explosives explode for? That's what I've been trying to figure out this entire time. I, I only know about C4, but um, what was your question? C4, a plastic explosive in, like, D&D. Uh, &D. How much would it explode for? Oh, I have no idea about that. I just know that C4 is fucking powerful, let me tell you, man. A little tiny bit of C4 is what powers a Claymore mine. A little tiny bit of C4, and then they have 750 steel pellets embedded in it. Let me tell you, that fucks up shop. I have, on the character... I have uh, two one-pound blocks of C2 plastic explosive. Holy shit. I don't know much about have, C2, but I'm sure it's pr pretty powerful. I also have six TNT sticks with fuses. Oh, that's awesome. And I need to get rid of one. I once, I once put a block of TNT under a log and blew that thing up, and it blew like it blew so high in the fucking air. It's undescribable, man. <laughs> TNT is fucking powerful. But then again, I'm not an engineer. I am not good in explosives. Okay. Grenades are fucking powerful, too. Not like in the movies, man. You, you don't even know. It's grenades so fucking powerful. A modern oh, grenade. Man. I don't know about a World War II pineapple, but... Yeah, I well, bet. In the game, it does 5d6, so... Well, it depends how, my, depends, I, how close you are to the grenade. He yeah. was not quite point-blank, but he was close range so I that's that's up grenade. to six pieces of shrapnel if you're point blank you have like up to 10 pieces of shrapnel and so mm -hmm. on right I and if you're a grenade the kill radius on a modern grenade is 35 meters it's brutal but, man. but you still wow. can survive like if you're lucky yeah like it doesn't uh, kill everything i mean yeah my friend's brother fell on a grenade in iraq and it exploded and he lived. And he, he won the Navy Cross for it. 
I, yeah, I suppose his I name guess. was First Sergeant Kazal. Check him out. That's awesome. Kazal was, and his brother Kazal was my squad leader in the army. So, quick, what do you guys think so far of the game? I love it. It feels real. Um. Yeah. Hey. I'm. I'm yeah, enjoying cool. it. It's really great. Yeah. Okay. Because it it'll get better, of course, if we keep playing. Whatnot. No, it's cool. It feels very real. Yeah. yeah. I also feel like I jumped right into it too. I didn't uh, do as much research as I should have, but for the next time, it should be. Yeah, that was. That's okay. I know. I know a lot about <clears throat> the paratroops, at least. Yeah, you know Peter. He he was a, he's a veteran paratrooper in the eighty second mm-hmm. Airborne. I gathered that much. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So you're saying it's not as good as the hundred and first. And you guys oh, are all hundred and first. I know. Blows away the hundred and first, man. We won't even go there. <laughs> I actually had a big. We had a big ribbing session. I met a World War Two hundred and first paratrooper when I was visiting the battlefields in Arnhem and uh, Nijmegen, and we were giving each other shit. It was so funny. But the eighty second and the hundred first have a storied rivalry. Nice. All right, gentlemen. So uh, we're almost ready, I think. I'm just doing a few. How much would a, a gammon bomb be for inside of uh, uh, this game? It's essentially two stacks of C2 explosive for anti-tank. I'm just curious. Oh, sorry. I was busy. I totally zoned out there. Okay. One more time. I, it's called a gammon bomb. G-A-M-M-O-M bomb. It is essentially uh, two pieces of C2 explosive, or C4 nowadays. A little bit different to construct now, for that. The specialist episode. might have something like that. It's right? in. It's yeah. I just downloaded the what every all the paratroopers in World War II carried. Oh, nice. Okay. So that might be something that. Fred's got. I think that was the same thing that in Saving Private Ryan, when that guy stuck a bomb. I think it's called the Sticky Bomb. And I no, no, this one, this one actually yeah, looks like a ma- a purse with like a nozzle at the top. You you set it and you chuck it, and like it's satchel supposedly, charge? yeah, like a satchel satchel charge. I okay. got a so, suggestion, Darren. Okay, uh, go ahead, Josh. Why don't we make it so that uh, when you give commands, especially when you're in combat, it takes a turn, but if people follow the command that turn, they get a plus one. Because it seems like there's not really a lot he can do as Sarge, and if he is giving us commands, which are good, and you're following them. Like it should be and you should be... Re- like that's why I'm giving advantage. Like, if you if you guys are in formation and commands are going well, cohesive as a unit, yeah, I've been pretty generous. I've been saying, yeah, you get uh, advantage. But, yeah, I hear you. It might be just a plus one would work as well. Well, to give uh, people incentive to do that, too, and so he can actually make a roll for the order that he's giving. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. And, and over the battlefield and the excitement, too, people might not even see or hear him. You could specialize that, too. Like, uh, if I look at your skill sheet for a sec here. And people may not realize this, but, you know, following the military tactics will keep our characters alive. Would We're that be a persuasion roll? So you should be rolling. I don't know what you have been rolling for that, but you should be rolling maybe pers- either persuasion or performance if you put a... a... I was rolling persuasion. Yeah. Which one's better for you, persuasion or performance? Well, it like, depends if you give them performance as a class skill, proficiency or not. But they're mm. both the same if you give them as a class skill. Right. Y'all picked your archetypes, right? Uh, yeah, I have. I did, it? You did it. But, okay. uh, yeah, you, you sure? Did anyone else? I'll try to research it better. On the skill sheet, too, what I've been doing to roll that, session. what I've been doing to roll that, too, and you can do this like when. We click the skill sheet in your own character sheet. In the bottom right, there's like things you can fill in. So you just click a plus at the bottom, very bottom right, under features and traits, and then you can give a name. And I was just made the source type, the amount of points that it was costing me, and source class. And then you can just paste the description. Literally, I've just been, just pasted it from that document that he posted right there. Then you can just click any of those things to roll them and give a description. Okay, so, and also there's something we have to, 
always try to tell me if you're I let the squad know I'm informing and it, we've been doing it good just remember that because a big part of fog of war is communication in the squad oh, yeah. and you know if you saw something the other characters didn't see it we can't metagame that so it's but we, we've been pretty good I just uh that's something in kind of modern yeah. tactical war it we does, have to bear in mind. It does feel very real. Like, yeah. I think we've been following the line pretty closely. No, it's, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. And I'll shut up. So we'll start. <laughs> and uh, the situation is Snipes just said there's four coming. And sure enough, there's bullets zinging this next round. They're going to be All shooting, right. shooting into the, in the cost. South. Let's run south to the riverbank. Okay, so that's going to be about a 200-meter run in the open. Sure, I'll hop in yeah, my neck. If, if these Germans down, press, okay. now this is tactically, Peter, just from? letting you know, Peter, tactically, it's going to take you longer to cross <laughs> that open field than it would be if they press. They would make the tree line easily cross it. Where are and, they? How does, how does the smoke help us? Oh, the smoke does help actually a lot at yeah. this point. I was just going to say because they'll be able to see you running. Now, the problem is, yeah, Sarge, uh, Snipe yelled out, there's four coming. What direction? They're coming from this area here. Okay, well, we have the bocage or the shrubbery between us and them. Let's run south as fast as possible. Okay, like I said, this. okay, you go. It's about 200 meter clear run. To the river do it all okay. right everybody go now i'm gonna make a perception roll and see we should, if we should be moving maybe as a group like not just sprint across here or do we just full out running yeah let's all online sprint together online toward the south so it's an all-out sprint all right yep. now there <laughs> happens to be a certain individual in this group of four so i'm going to give them a perception roll because he's a pretty competent uh commander uh, we also. Okay, turn what's the next move? We're running. We need more of the map revealed, Darren. By the way, unless yeah. this is the edge of the map, I'm not That's sure. That's the end of the map. Okay, so maybe can we pop out somewhere? If we roll. Yeah. Um, roll if you're if following movement? game terminology, you pop out the top of the map, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Recycle. <laughs> no, no. You're basically running to the riverbank, right? Well, I think yeah. the point is to be able to re-engage some at a different location. So maybe a location that makes sense, yeah. like bottom left, yeah. engaging. My goal is to break contact. I want to break contact so we can fade off into the darkness again and re uh, reconnoiter. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You guys got about 50 meters from the river line and bullets start to zing around you. Uh, are, they, are they at the river or are they? These guys where? pressed forward. There's a officer in there and they, you, it took you guys like that's 200 meter run. So you guys are running, running, running. It was going to oh, take you. We're, we're really far away now. If they moved, I mean, this all happened at the same time, right? They were in the middle of the village, right? And then did they just run straight directly through the smoke? Like, because this is only six seconds, so it would take them easily a turn to be here, right? And you know what? I forgot about the smoke, Josh. <laughs> I just saw it again on the map. <laughs> and if I have the smoke on me, I'm going to pop one and throw it over my shoulder as we're running. No, sorry, Josh. I, I saw your gray blob again, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, Good hey. job on throwing that smoke, man. I'm going to recommend Absolutely. you play Archon. <laughs> So I was going to give him disadvantage on his perception. <laughs> Which means he rolled a one. Or no, that's me. Or, sorry, yeah. No, no. Yeah, four. So the smoke catches them up. And they are going to run. Eventually, they'll get through. But you guys do reach the riverbank. And you spin around. And it's hard to make out. Oh, my God. Cats are taking over. Oh, you know what? I rolled the 20-sided again, so if I did disadvantage, it would be another 14. Um, this guy's good. He's pressing. Uh, they're not shooting, but he gets to the edge of the tree line. Oh, i got to move that fucking thing. Damn it. 
Just uh, right click that thing and click send to bottom. Layer it. Uh, yeah. No, you don't have to. Lay you don't have to send it to map. You can just literally click send to bottom. To back. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you guys. They are advancing. <laughs> they don't. They don't get a shot at you guys though, because you guys get cover. Can I pop they, a they saw you just they just shoulder. saw you go into the riverbank. They saw you awesome. and they're running and they're not sure. They're kind of spread out and in the open, probably over 150 meters, so they're probably 400 feet away, 500 feet away. If we're in the riverbank then, I'm going to get everybody back online and face back toward them and use the riverbank as cover. Okay, they're Don't retreating back into the village. They retreat back into the village. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. I wanted to break contact. Uh, can worked. I take a shot at them? Yeah, it's very well, it's pretty dark. It's starting to get light. Yeah, we knew bit. exactly where they were coming from. Oh no, it be about, come from. No, it's and still it's dark out. Open, right? Yeah. Oh, you could get a shot, but it's dark out and it'd be disadvantage. Okay, I don't get disadvantage on rolls made with sniper though when I'm prone. Oh, so that would even it out. You don't get advantage then. Okay. Want to shoot one? Yep. So 17. That's wow. a hit. <laughs> oh, it's like, ah. That sniper is deadly, man. Oh, yeah. You pin one in the back, but you roll shit damage. Uh, I can use a MP, though. I still have four. Do we want to... Are we going to have a chance to rest if I can get a short rest so I can rest? You should declare feet? that before you shoot. Oh, no, I'm allowed to pick it. I'm allowed to pick it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, there's some that just trigger when you crit, so you have to pick when you hit. It has to do with when you hit or when you drop a creature. You can choose what you want to do. So... I got to read up uh, on the ultra-modern stuff. Me <laughs> Apparently. You know I'm, I'm out. I... I'm a D and D hater, but it's working great for this little game. I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm going to spend two points on that. So we got to oh yeah, it's, and trust me, I've been working too much this week to really get into it. So I was like, oh. five, so thirteen. That's a kill, and you guys see one of them. He's hitting the back, and he just does the old chicken arms weapon drops and he oh, I, I killed him now okay he's dead he drops down shot center mass centers it's through the spine instant kill all right our goal then is to move along the riverbank and try to move back up toward the east or west gun. so we're going to move west and then do north okay so if you gun. go west you'll 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 have to cross the uh, railroad tracks We'll go underneath the bridge. Can we go okay. underneath the bridge? And then there's tracks that follow the river for a while and then take off to the northwest. And so you have to scurry across the tracks. And at that point... Can we, go, can we avoid the tracks by going underneath the bridge? Yeah, but when they... No, because when you go under the bridge, the tracks cross and turn to the left. So when you <laughs> cross under, you actually oh, have okay. to go. Yeah, we'll have to go across them then. We'll and cross it as a danger area. Though. And there's a road there as well, the driveway for for this farmstead. We'll we'll go. And sorry, I should have mentioned. The there's a road that follows the whole riverside, and right. but if, there's one that branches off and goes to the farm. And that's the one the tank drove down. Well, if we can, we want to go past the road, and then go north. So everybody, you can move your characters way to the west on the map, way, way, way over. Okay. And my character, yeah, you don't know where it is. So we're like now these these three guys have retreated out of sight. One of their buddies went down, of course. Can you just so, move us, Darren, so we know where we where we need to go? You can just move us all. Well, let's stand still a minute. I'll do it. There we go. We're missing one, maybe. I saw one. No, oh, he's up here. Oh, okay. So you also want to turn your guys around, face north. <coughs> now form your wedge formation or whatever. Uh, let's get online. Wedge is like online if contact time. isn't imminent. Since contact is imminent, let's get. Oh, hold on, Gunny, you're not over there. That's like way up in the farmstead. Okay. I know I'm sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be like a 300 meter sneak. 
Now, yeah, because the scale's a bit gapped. There was a theater of mine there, and then you guys also popped on in the screen after you went north for about 200 meters. Yeah, and now like there's, cool. yeah, so there's a forest with a tree can... line on your left, and yeah, then fields on your more. right. And up ahead, you see the buildings. You see the 20 mil cracking away and the traces going off. But Where you see the activity now. Can What's you that? put a ping on that again? Yes. So my goal okay, so is to move there. like this and then head over, skirt the river, head towards the gun. Okay, sounds good. Um, I'm just doing a couple things on the map. You guys can form your, your formation and start creeping up the map, and I'll be there in a second. I am just busy. And Chrome doesn't like this at all. Got a Firefox for just for this. Mm. Hey, you guys, by the way, for having like no military training, you're doing great, man. Everybody's doing great. Okay, there's a bunch there. There's a bunch of enemies there. Gracias. A bunch of tiny Germans again. <laughs> yeah, they were giants or tiny? Germans. <laughs> so, I think so. I, okay, uh, everyone, uh, we're going to start in a moment. Give me another moment. If they were giant Germans, then we gotta be careful. I could, I could do that. That's, that's what the bazooka's for. Uh, no more tanks. It's only giant Germans. Yeah, you guys took out the tank. Well done, by the way. That, that went well. You guys blew it up. I was, I was concerned when that first, uh, when that first round went went wrong. I was like, oh, oh shit. man. <laughs> you want to sing an army cadence? Since we're in World War II, we can say C-47 right. rule and down. Let me, uh, you guys should let me sneak into position first. Go, go prone and crawl up there, and then as soon as you get I agree. shot, or as soon as I hear your first shot, I'll start shooting. Then I actually don't have to relocate if I just wait until I hear you guys engage, and then I can just start taking them out. Okay. Give me one second, guys. So here's the cadence. It's C-47 rolling down the strip. <clears throat> Airborne daddy going to take a little trip. Stand <laughs> up, hook up, shuffle to the door. Nah, that's right. I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, just start... I count to four. So you guys start doing this whispering chant? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I don't want to give up. Oh, you're airborne. The fuck? I'm confused though. He told I me to be short. To I'm not middle. And I slip to my right. I slip on down into a firefight. So let's get information, people. Let's catch up to Snipe. He's motioning back to Doc. Look out. Now, let's keep it in perspective here. Snipe got quite a ways ahead. Well, I was we just going to make a, a sneak roll. I wanted to sneak up into that position. I'll take the ridge there. Like this is quite, this is a big ridge on the left, right? Okay, so everyone stop a minute. Let me have a look. Like we're all spread out. You guys can't even see each other in this bush. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're beyond fifty sneak. feet in here, it's hard to see anything, right? If we, well, I'm just um, gonna let them know I'll engage, but give give me like a minute to get into position. I'm gonna sneak up on this ridge, or to, like I'm kind of wondering because it's hard to tell the. It's a 3D terrain. Can I could I safely sneak up on this ridge without them really seeing me with the 16 roll? Very very possible. Yes, but okay, that's so true, let's put the bar gunner right here as well. I'm gonna hide right on this. You have to come right up to me and wave at me. Can't hear you. Nobody from my north can see me, and then I'm just gonna wait for them to engage and start. Let's put the BAR gunner right up here. That's too close. They'll see you. Oh, okay. Now listen well, up. You okay, really hold on, everybody. Be on the ground floor when you're with a machine gun, anyway, but that's okay. So we should start the round. If you're not in combat, we don't have initiative counter. Or I mean, uh, <laughs> it starts with Sarge giving orders. Now okay. look at the situation, tactical situation. Give orders to your squad. What the what the generally what you want them to do. So okay. snipe so is up I ahead on the left. I want everybody online in cover in the woods, right there. Except for the sniper. I'm okay with the sniper taking high ground. Okay, so that's the left. There's a, a hill with some steep inclines. Yeah. Now, you guys aren't that far away. Don't get too cocky. 
You're like right. 80 oh, feet we're away. In cover, right? Now, do I get a bonus for being in a in advantageous position? I want the BAR Height, height right will give you advantage, yes. Okay. That will shorten the range. Height. I want the yeah, I yeah, yeah, next you can range back range advantage. The class, but because I don't get the disadvantage because I'm prone. Right. Sniper, but um, I was more meaning like, would I get a damage or attack roll bonus for having... And put the BAR I'm not sure. Okay. Now, everybody roll initiative, please. Okay. Also, a uh, quick question, Darren. Uh, is our position, are we close enough that if we could, we could open fire on them, or would we have to get even closer? No, you're close enough, but if you're, if you're more than 10, 20 feet in that shrubs, you can't see them. Okay. There's too many shrubs. You have to get to the edge of the tree line to actually, actually see them. So where you are, uh, you I'm don't see it. any of them. Okay. Who so moved my character? So, you know what? That's okay, man. We can low crawl. We can low crawl forward. Let's keep prone and low crawl forward. Okay, Let's roll initiative, everybody, I please. I did. I think, well, I think we did. Gotcha. Okay, everyone done? Oh, wait, what happened? It didn't put my... Uh, I you got to have your token selected. You got to have your token selected when you click it. Yeah. It didn't update can, my initiative properly. You can manually change it on the turn order you okay. yourself. Like, it doesn't have to be the DM if you... Yeah, it is. All right. Jesus. So we have our orders. We're spread out on the combat line. Uh, the sniper is off to the left, and I need, before we start this, though, something's happening. Who is on the right flank? That would is be... Is there another tank? Or right here? That's that? This is supposed to be the, the BAR gunner. This is supposed to be where Gunny is, but I don't know where Gunny is. I don't know where your token is, I mean. There's only Arthur. four of us, yeah. Did she come home early? Oh, he's AFK again. All right. Mm. Yeah, okay. Back. So somebody moved my character originally. It was over here. Is there a reason why it got moved here? Well, okay. is anybody oh. here? I'm doing a little dance. Where the hell yeah, did my character go again? again? That's got to be right. right you, all of you guys are here. Let's put the BAR gunner on the right flank. Honey, uh, can I move you? Yeah, move me. Where am I? You are now yeah, next to right. me. Oh, all right. Good. Sweet. Yeah. There you go. Okay. We're organized. The line's That's forward, but sorry. Gunny, make a perception roll, please. Okay. There's a guy in the in the square by the tank. What tank? What tank? The, the tank we took out. The tank we just took out to our oh, right. There's okay. a guy standing in the middle it's... of the square. Hey, Gunny, right get that. There you go. Perception. That's pertinent to you, Gunny. Oh. You add snipes. Gunny, gunny, gunny. Okay. Okay, I see where you are. You're on the high ground there. Gotcha. Okay. Gunny, oh. gunny, ten four, gunny. Do you hear? There's a guy. I, I, I want to signal six. to the bazooka guy to take on your out three, the gunny, on your three, gunny. On your three, incoming. So, gunny, there's a gunshot cracks, right? And uh, a bullet. Is, is my mic muted? Is this guy just not not here? I don't know. He's busy. But a bullet, friggin' clips his ear. Well, that's Gunny. Not good. Gunny, is he here? He yeah, was. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. Can you hear me? There's okay. a bullet. Okay, hey, listen, everybody, please. Okay, just a there's a gunshot rings out, and it clips your ear painfully. Con <laughs> and contact right. You're gonna drop. And there's now you. The other guys don't see this, but they can hear the sharp crack of a K98 Mauser scoped and there's a, a sniper in that windmill so he yells out sniper sniper light up the windmill and and uh you guys can't see the windmill you're in the bush too deep fred shoot the uh uh anti-aircraft gun with your bazooka okay so you want me to creep up to the edge of the tree line yeah you're gonna have to move up 20 feet to do that hey uh Jim, what which uh, initiative do you want me there to have for? Okay, well let's uh, do the descending order. So we'll start with Gunny's first. You just got your ear clipped by a bullet from this. There's a sniper. You can see the barrel poking out of the top of this kind of. He's moved a bunch of cleverly moved aside some shutters and stuff, or some shingles. And he's shooting out of the roof. 
but he's pretty well concealed, man. It's you just saw, and quickly you just saw the flash of the scope, and your ear is stinging, man, where he took a chunk out of it. <laughs> you were Mike makes Tyson. Me look, so makes quick, me look regularly handsome. You you warn these guys, I'm assuming, right? Sniper, yeah, uh, sniper. Chicks, you know what the yeah. name yeah. of the army is? Chicks yeah. dig scars, drive on. Yeah, he said he said he said contact right, so. Okay, so contact gunny. right, sniper, windmill. Right, and you got your bar. Oh yeah. What do you um, do? This is a. I didn't roll a twenty-one. I'm just. I rolled a four. <laughs> well, you're lucky. Go ahead. All right, sweet. I guess you I'll didn't blow your brains out. Okay, <laughs> if he would have rolled high, he would have been dead, man. So I guess uh, I'll light up the windmill. Full full auto. Mag? Yeah. 20 uh, rounds? Yeah, full auto it. All right. Let's, let's so see if ahead. I even hit the windmill. All right. <laughs> uh, now, it's you can actually, yeah, at this point, it's light structure, so the bullets pierce stuff. I'm only going to give him, uh, I'm only going to give him 30% cover, so he's going to have AC 13. Uh, your full uh, auto I area a fire. For the, uh, hate to be a stickler for the rules on this one too, but if you're spending half your turn uh, dropping too, like if you haven't already been prone, that takes an action too. So you yeah, you can just play. shoot. You don't have to go prone. You you just spin and shoot. Oh man, you should probably go prone. <laughs> well, you, you, you yeah, that, if you miss, yeah, I mean, what are you doing? What's that? Okay, let's let Gunny talk. So you just open right, up. Oh, you right. just turn. Hold on. That's a hit. I'm just gonna, so 16. What do I need to roll after that? Uh, you roll six sided die. It's area I, fire. I was, I was a machine gunner I, in the army. <laughs> do you want to drop in? in uh, do you want to drop first? You can do that. You just have to roll the action in the same yeah, turn. I'll just do both those turn, turn, shoot, light it up. Because I know there's other people in front of me. So Okay, roll three die. Oh, wow, you got three bullets hit him. Ouch. No, you roll six die six damage as you light up this rooftop. Tum, 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 tum. 23. And wow. it just it, it Swiss cheeses the top floor of this place, and it sort of slumps to the side, and you actually light. You just keep firing. And the whole, the whole uh, spinning piece kind of, Kelters off and falls off, clunk, crash, falls, and the whole top part kind of slumbers. And you see this body slump out the side and roll mm -hmm. off and flop to the floor. <laughs> and you're, you're empty though. I'm going to yell out, Airborne. <laughs> oh, again, for, uh, you guys first can kill. yell out, All the way. All the way. All the way. Reload. Hey, question The burst is at minus three. What's the full auto minus? All right, that's a good call. Or now what? Yeah, that would be like... It was only a 16 spinning. Anyway. Say it again, speak yeah, up. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm no, just, like I'm just you're... wondering what, because the burst was minus three to your attack roll. It'd be, it'd be minus I'm wondering five. What the, what the full auto is, yeah. Yeah, but if uh, there's going to be side rules. I was going to make, if you sustain it on one target, just keep going, you get multiple attacks, but... I'll have to work on from that, now guys. On, from now on. It's water under the bridge. Yeah, yeah, you're right, though, Josh. That 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 would have been a miss. Barely. But the thing is, he lit it up. He might have been clipped. Hard to say. Powerful gun. All right, we'll move on. I'll work on that, guys. Sorry. The guy got shredded, or...? He's dead. He drops. Oh. All right. Uh, right. I'm next. I'm going to... Take a shot at the open target to the left, then that's now going to be opening up on them. And jigs up. Uh, so I got a nice clear line to the back of the noggin. Now, you can't see him. You can see this guy. And you can see I the see gun. It. This guy's too close to that cliff. Why okay. can't I see the close guy? Okay, I'm just going to. Okay, well, it's fine. Oh. Legged out there. Yeah, that, that. I'm trying to sort out why I can't see him. 
He's behind this cliff. It's a big yeah, cliff. Close, I can't see this guy? Oh, okay. I thought... Gotcha, gotcha. It's hard to sometimes tell with the 3D. Okay, right. I got it now. Okay, I'll, take, I'll shoot at uh, this guy. I have a nice clear line on him, too. Okay. Go ahead. Now, of course, everything erupts in activity. Those four guys near the gun, of course, spin around, and there's somebody mar yelling orders. And I'm going to yell out, Bazooka Man, shoot that... Anti-aircraft gun. I'm going to, but my initiative sucks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. I'm a highly motivated. Gunny went. Shipper. All right, Snipes, go ahead. Fire. And uh, oh, I did. Ouch! Good shot. <laughs> Jeez, uh, that sniper, oh, yeah. man, crack! You hear that Springfield go? It has that peculiar sound. <laughs> Snipes is snipey. Very. <laughs> uh. And, and he's got elevation this. surprise, so he's advantage, but he didn't even need it. Boom, headshot. Uh, is there anybody within five feet? If there is, I'll use that. I can't. No, never mind. There's this guy would be considered, but you can't see him. I would I would say that, but you can't see him. Uh, it's just within 20 feet. Do it. Can I see anybody within 20 feet? Yep. Oh, well, no, you can't see this guy. He's behind that edge. You know he's there. Okay. okay. Uh, then I'm just going to actually just make it a base attack. So I'll just roll All the right. damage. Go ahead. Sees red mist. <laughs> Nine. Okay, he is Carlos Hathcock. Okay, he kind of spins to the side and, and goes on a knee quickly, but gets up and he's gonna start running for cover. You hit him, you winged him, but he's still up. Uh, the link here. This is the most famous sniper. In hey, the Sarge, it's your turn next. Okay. Uh, can I see uh, this guy then? No, you're you're too far in the shrub to see I anybody. I will uh, move forward then. I will low crawl forward. Okay, so that you'll spend this round low crawling yeah. forward. Okay, uh, Doc. Um, I'm just thinking what I should probably do is if I can creep up to the edge of this tree line here, um, I'll take a shot off at this guy. You were pretty close. Uh, you could get a shot at disadvantage. Now, he's standing there, crouched down, looking around tensely, so Very he good. doesn't really have any AC advantage. Even at disadvantage, if you get a decent roll, his AC is only 10. Very sure. good. I posted a link to the most famous sniper in the U.S. military, man, Carlos Hathcock. Nice. Okay, uh, how'd you do there? Okay, so disadvantage, that's still a hit. And you didn't say burst or, or single shot? Oh, sorry, um, I, I was going for a burst. Okay, minus three, so 11, that's still a hit. Now roll six-sided. Ten, four. By the oh, way, come Carlos on. Hathcock took a 50 caliber machine gun and he shot a VC off a fucking bicycle at like 2,000 meters. Pretty fucking insane. Impressive. An insane uh, you rolled a 2 divided by 2 is 1. One bullet hit. Uh, you're shooting the carbine? Uh, yep. That's 1 die 8 damage, right? Damn it. Rolled a two. Okay, he you he's down, crouched, but he ducked as soon as he you shot, and you just didn't get him. Well, you, you might have clipped him, but he's very much alive, and he's zoning in, going to shoot at you. So there's one for you, Peter. Awesome. As soon as I come up, I'll take him out. Okay, Fred, Sparky. I just uh, make a link. Famous World War One sniper. Unless you get up and run, you can't reach the edge of the tree line before, um, and the, you know, to attack. And the shrubs don't offer a whole lot of cover, do they? No, but they can't see you right now. You can't see them. And you saw Sarge go ahead. You saw Doc go ahead, and then they kind of disappeared through the shrubs. And they're they're attacking. They're still attacking. Concealment and cover. So concealment is good. Not as good as cover, but it's good. Okay, so well, let him go, Fred. What do you do? Do I do I have enough uh, do I have enough cover to run up there, or should I crawl? 
That's what that's what I'm saying. I don't know how tall the shrubs are. If they're tall if you enough get to up and run, they'll they'll see you. Okay, well then I'm gonna crawl. I'm gonna take this turn to crawl. Right. Okay, so crawl that, up here so I can go get ahead. A shot that'll take that. you this round. All right. Now it's their turn. Now this guy ducks for cover against the ledge. Tries to get into the ledge. This guy here, he's he's looking, but he didn't see you guys sneak up. He saw Doc shoot. Can he actually see you? Yeah, he's going to move, Doc, and he's going to take a shot at you. On the um, move as he... Oh, what the hell did I press there? Oh my God. Okay, there is... Uh, so one question I had about the medic class in particular. Uh, I think one of the first level features, it says target avoidance. So it says as a bonus action, I can use dash and get away. So is that with every turn, like I could take a shot and then try to get away? Hmm. Mm, that's a good question. Here, I'll copy and paste it in the chat. Yeah, but you would have to say you did that. Your turn's done now. Oh, for sure. I'm just like... Yeah, uh, but really... no, I, 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 yeah that would have worked. You could have shot and then retreated back into cover mm -hmm. or out of sight. No, that's a good call. Um, now, this guy's running back, and he sees you, and he shot. He shoots a, a burst, and, you, and he's at disadvantage because he's wounded. He's, a, he's actually pretty wounded. He's pretty hurt. And he had a, a, a MP40 machine pistol, one of the German ones, 9 millimeter. Yep. And awesome. you are prone, right? Yep, if I'm, if I'm in that small shrubbery, of course. Oh, wow. I'm glad we're all prone, man. Being prone keeps you alive. It did keep him alive. Um, I'm pretty sure you get a limited amount of bonus actions per total combat, too. I can't remember how it works exactly, but I haven't played 5e in a while. One yeah, bullet I'm a, does I'm hit a you. Guy. Oh, wait, no, that's six-sided. But this system's working great for this game. It's Okay, bad. Doc, a bullet goes through your left arm. Oh shit! And it's through the flesh, uh, up top here, and uh, blood six points damage. Purple heart, man. And you're like fuck, and it, he, he Jim, you should, you. Um, oh, sorry, Jim. You should click the cog underneath and put update your total hit points in the actual token, and then already do the minus six on the bubble. It's easy to keep track then. I, I did. It's just for some reason it's in the green run, so I totaled right I honestly now. Don't know. Oh, I just put it in the green run. It's fine. Okay, so your left arm, like using multi weapons now, like your left arm got clipped, so you're going to be minus one. Now, these two guys back here, one this guy runs to, to the edge of the cliff here in cover, and he sprays the tree line. Oh, no, he, had the, uh, he has a K98 Mauser. So he just runs to cover along the ledge. This guy here, he goes prone. So I should actually put down. And he gets his Mauser out, and he's pointing, and he's looking for targets. Doesn't see anybody. The gun <laughs> spins around and rakes the fucking <laughs> with 20 mil. No, they don't know yet. Shit where shit is and this guy here seemed to be the commanding officer and he's yelling at the gun the gun's shooting in the sky right now crack 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 it's just going and he's yelling at it and he's pointing at the bushes um so that's trouble sniper's dead yeah good shot there gunny um initiative new round right everyone run <laughs> Quick question. Do we add anything modifier-wise to our damage in this game? I, no, unless you, you should look up those skills for those classes because you can pick stuff that does that. Uh, unless you get a critical. I'll, do that. I'll study my class before the it's, next It's one of the rules I, I read, in the, I read it in, the, in that rule book. You add your, if it's a dex weapon, you add your dex. If it's a strength, you add your strength, but you don't add your proficiency. So it's just your raw like bonus from from... Strength if it's a strength up in her decks, if it's a dex to damage. And okay. Not on well, all your crits, it's just on your first damage roll. Gets in one additional bonus. Okay, now they seem to be or getting organized, right? You guys better watch out. Um, I'm going to roll uh, 
as a group initiative for them. So well, I rolled like shit. <laughs> everybody roll. You can just select them all and click add turn if you want to have separate. Nine. Okay, they rolled a nine. You guys get your dexterity bonus on this, right? And it's it's added automatically if you roll off the oh, sheet. Yeah. Right. It didn't. I don't think it added for me because I only rolled a four, but I didn't get my. What, Maybe what's, I don't well, it says your initiative bonus is zero. What's your dex bonus? I zero. So yeah, zero. No. That's why. Yeah. Now, Sparky, you crept up <laughs> and kind of have. Okay, ouch. Uh, you got a bit of surprise. Now, you don't have your bazooka out, or do you have... Yeah, that's that's what he said to... Uh, that's what he said to... Oh, you're going to shoot the gun? The line. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking the off gun the gun. Now, they, they finally clued in. The gun's going to spin around. And that's trouble, well, guys. I'm, I'm going to hit him with my M9, so... The, is that the bazooka? Yeah, that's the bazooka. Fuck, cat. Jesus. Okay, Oh, oh, you're point blank. Oh, sorry, I, I meant to. Yeah, okay, I'm, you're like I'm 55. The... Oh, wow. Okay, so it's a large target. You get uh, plus two advantage. It's AC is 10. So let her rip. You're going to have to stand up somewhat, right? Well, I could go from, from prone to kneeling. Yeah, still that's what I mean. You're going to have to get up yeah. and fire that thing. Yeah, I won't have to stand, but I'll have to at least come from prone to, yeah. to a kneeling position, yeah. Go ahead, fire. All right. <clears throat> Fuck, nice he he went a boom. great shot. Airborne. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> okay. All the way. Now, kill number 18. This thing has no armor. It's You hit it, and it... Now, actually, if you roll... Roll 20-sided. If you roll a 1, it's a dud. <sighs> Basically. Oh, a 19, and that's a high time. kill number. Yeah, you just... It yeah, hits it, and the thing one. ruptures... Um, the round hits a solid spot and sprays phosphorus and shrapnel in every direction. And the crew uh, roll uh, six die six for three times for three crew members. And, and you hear wow. the sergeant from the woods yell out, air fucking born. <laughs> six, six D6. I keep forgetting what we're supposed to say after that. I'm going to write it down. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. You guys are supposed to say that on the DM. Fuck. I've, been okay. doing it. I've been doing it every goddamn time. I haven't heard oh, my God. Well, I've been yelling right, at 17, 17, and 25. I, I posted a video of the 82nd Airborne Division Corps singing it. <laughs> nice. Now, to give you an idea, everybody pay attention. And it, a couple explosions go off, some rounds, and the bodies fly, a couple of them on fire, parts. The bazooka yeah. round just tears through it. It just explodes. Um, all these guys are disadvantaged this round, these three guys. Oh, sorry, i got to turn that off now. Watching you shoot that bazooka gave me a fucking hard-on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, nice. Somebody helped me out there. Yeah, it's scratched. Good shot, guys. Well done. Now, uh, initiative continues. We now, uh, Lance Corporal Rhodes, Gunny. Now, you quickly reload. Make a, now this is an advantage uh, acrobatics move to reload and be able to. No problem. Smooth as gravy. You're ready to go. Uh, fresh mag. And you can still act completely. You can totally use sleight of hand for that too if you have it. Yeah, it's a good call because if your mag runs out, you have to reload at some point. If you roll well, then you can still act, right? Smooth. And... So, Gunny, you, you're, you're kind of, cre you're still standing, right? Or did you go prone? No, negative. I'm still standing. 
Okay, you can see some Germans up ahead, I think. Yeah, I had to move a little bit. Could I have seen them through the trees? At... Oh, no, wait a sec, Gunny. I need you to make a perception yeah. roll. Okay. Well, I was going to move forward just I a little bit. I God, if that girl gives away our position. <laughs> Why am I the only one seeing her? That's my question. Ah, I don't see shit. Maybe you're going insane. <laughs> okay. Right. I don't... Now, just so you know, over here, there's a German soldier. Well, I, I saw him? You did not. Earlier. Well, then why would you point that out to me? <laughs> because he shoots, he shoots at you. <laughs> I screamed, I screamed it in the, in the mic for like a solid minute. <laughs> You're prone, though, man. You're going to be hard to hit. Yeah. No, I'm standing up. He's standing. Mm -hmm. and I'm... Uh, he had to stand up in a firefight, my friend. I didn't get I didn't get a chance to drop. All I did was get shot in the air, turn around, lit this place up, and then you guys took your turns. Okay, what happened to my uh, uh, turn? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, Doc, you're you next. Have, there's brush. There's uh, trees in the way, so maybe. Oh wait, so Gunny, you're gonna are you gonna move or shoot? You're gonna shoot yeah, somebody, I'm gonna, right? I'm gonna move somebody, and I'm gonna shoot somebody. Drop. If you're not in prone, drop. Get in fucking prone. Live. Let's see. Is this guy right here by this bush alive? This guy? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's wounded. Well, I'm going to take a knee and take a shot. First? Or wait. No. Take a knee and take a shot? Which There's going to be a field in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, named after you. If you go prone, my so you get plus Where two for kneeling. Do? Okay, everyone focus, please. Go ahead, uh, Gunny. You I'm sorry, I have, uh, I, have, I have two people talking to me. Uh, we're not making soup, Lillian. We're just making noodles. She's going to make some type of sauce when she gets home. Knox's <laughs> turn. Uh, uh, where is it? There. Okay, was that a single shot or burst? That was a single shot. He already okay, loaded and moved, right? I don't think he was rolling attack. He was getting shot at, no? Or oh, okay. Well, then uh, if that... No, no, he can shoot. He moved a couple faces, went kneeled and shot. Now, you, you would have missed. Does... Now, something's clunking away. That... <laughs> okay, sorry, that's you, Gunny. Somebody's doing the dishes in front of the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing the dishes. Here, let me get me. Thank you. All right. So that's a hit. This guy dies unless you roll uh, two die six. So go ahead, roll two die six. However, this guy's going to shoot you through the bushes at disadvantage. And he's kind of taking a quick shot. There's not much, there's barely room for him to see. Okay, that guy dies. This guy's down one shot and he slumps backward into the bushes and rolls off Buh, dead but then you hear the gunshot as a k98 mauser shoots and a bullet clips your other ear you lucky fucker so Gunny, your other ear also, poof, you're like, fuck. And Gunny the earless, they called him. <laughs> yeah, you spin around, you fucker. Both your ears are bleeding blood now. And you see this guy, he's behind the building. You know, he's got some cover and he's reloading his, his Mauser. Of course, going to fire. You're like, son of a bitch. Ow. And you live. Uh, who's next? Oh, the soldiers are uh, next. Actually, you, sk you skipped me, Darren, while you guys were doing all that. I'm just going to retreat back into the bushes here. I just need more cover. I'm gonna get ready. Um, I don't know. Could I? Would I be able to work? Fire and on retreat my... with your bonus action. I I can't really shoot though, or I can't do anything because I got a hole in my arm. No, no, you're just minus one. Oh, okay. Still do stuff. Okay, sure. Um, then yeah, if I can, I'll take a shot off at that other guy and retreat afterwards. Okay, he's got uh, thirty percent cover. His AC is thirteen. He's okay. trying to crouch behind some against the cliff because he. He knows the sniper's up there yet. He knows there's you guys are in the tree line, and he's going to shoot. He just saw that gun explode. Draw. Okay, so after this last burst, I'll need to reload. Okay, at this point, you guys see a motorcade zipping okay, out of 
just give me a second. From this direction, you see a uh, two cars, a motorbike, and two cars. Oh my fucking god! R twenties give me a hard time. Hold on. There's a car, like it's a military car, but it's pretty sleek, pretty, pretty spookum. And it's got the flags on the front with the fist emblem on the shield, the black emblem. And there's a motorbike in front and behind it. And there's a half track behind as well. But there are more soldiers you see coming from the main area. So I'm not sure what your priorities are going to be. Now, start of the round, the right, Sarge gets to... Uh, we haven't finished around yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I also it's I nice didn't start there. Shot. Okay, go ahead, Doc. Uh, you're you're just retreating though, right? Well, I'm... twenty-two. No, he was gonna shoot and retreat. He uses medic. Oh, okay. Basic and you got. Ability. Oh, nice shot. Okay, so was a single shot burst? Uh, it was the burst, and then after that, I'll need to reload. Okay, so minus three. That's still a hit. Go ahead. Roll six-sided. How many bullets hit him? What? One. Okay, one die ten damage. <laughs> It was die eight last time. Uh, or, yeah, die eight. Yeah, you're right. Nice. Hey, yeah, he stumbles back. You clip him, you see, but he doesn't drop. He's he's Kill hit though. Fucking born. <laughs> All the way. And now you retreat out of sight into the shrub. Mm -hmm. He said. Okay, so you get out of there. You, you think you hit him though, pretty good. Um. Snipes. Oh wait, it, they still have the rest of their action. This guy here is prone. Some major. Uh, I was I actually moved before them. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'll I'll finish up with this guy. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, and this burn guy. a bunch of MP here, burn three, and then and I'm gonna try and take out the guys on the road. I got a clear line to them. Prone, so I don't get the range disadvantage, and I can see them. That sniper is badass, man. You have been kicking ass. Now, use that magic bullet and trooper. see if I can drop a couple of them. Okay, you see the car. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm. I see that, but I'm gonna shoot for these fleshy targets here in the back. What do you mean, fleshy targets? You see my arrow, red arrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, those guys are on foot. Yeah, exactly. In the, in the open. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Infantry in the open. I wish I had a radio. I'd call in fucking artillery. And I'll give you two shots, like, and if you want, you can shoot two targets. Oh, I, I am. I'm using all that stuff that's in the chat. Oh wow. Okay, sorry. I need a bunch of MP. Yeah. Ah. Oh, let her uh, rip. Assuming that I hit. Yeah. When you take them out, Gosh. you should sound off with a loud and thunderous airborne. Okay, <laughs> 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 fourteen. Right. No, have you seen? No, they haven't been in your sights for more than a round. You don't get advantage. Uh, okay. Right, they just came into view. Okay. Uh, then eight. That's a miss. Okay, so then I only burn one MP. All right. Crack. Damn. A rare miss. But next round, you get advantage. Right, same target. Um, so this guy here was looking for a target. Uh, Rock, uh, I, are you actually? They have specific like skills for when you get advantage. Like that's a really huge advantage. If I always got advantage, as long as someone was in my scope, I think it should just be if I surprise somebody. Other than that, there's like built-in mechanics for me to be able to get advantage on a shot if I hit. Fair That's enough. Things I can do with MP. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, because I don't want to make it too way, easy you're either. Kicking ass so much. But I should be getting it now when he's not. He has no way that right. I'm there. Now you're this guy. Ass so much. I have to do another quote from our airborne history, and this was what a, a German wrote in his diary about the airborne. Now we wear special boots called jump boots. And we blouse our trousers in them. Nobody's allowed to do that in the army except for the airborne. And this is what the German wrote about us. And that's how we got one of our nicknames. If you had advantage, 14 was a hit. Yeah, yeah. but 
if he doesn't know I'm there, do I get advantage? Because, I mean, if I am holding him in my scope, so that's too strong for that to be, for me to continuously get well, advantage. But I think I should be getting it when I'm surprising the guy, right? Yeah, that's what I meant, too. Plus, you, it's complete ambush. That's yeah. one of the sniper benefits. If they're surprised and don't know where you're shooting from. Yeah, and these guys have no idea. They just put, rolled up. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. So, right. so that, that is a hit. That's a hit. Okay, cool. But it's not a crit. Damn. Yeah, no, sorry, Peter. That's cool. I, I appreciate that. Um, no, it's all good. I'm just yeah. throwing it in there for flavor. So, Snipe, <laughs> you hear the gunshot crack again? He's shooting at some yeah. target. I'm far actually going to burn all my um, MP. That puts me to zero MP unless I get a kill here. But that means I do an additional one die six. So I get my oh. damage roll. And then also the others that were above. So if I kill somebody, I get an another automatic attack on somebody within 20 feet. You, I think you killed this guy. <laughs> wow. So we'll see. You know uh, what's happening, until... Darren? <clears throat> I think even even these civilians are getting and understanding the spirit of the airborne, which is Amen. awesome. Amen. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Devil 18. in baggy pants, man. Wow. Did 18 do it? Oh, yeah. He's dead. 18 does it? Okay, then I get another attack on somebody within 20 feet for one more MP, and that's my last MP. Otherwise, I could keep going. Shoot him again! Yeah, so I'm going to do another roll. So you get to shoot the guy beside him. There's a guy like 10 feet away. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> so he's dead. Okay, so <laughs> wow. actually, I get, and, now I, and now I get two MP for killing that guy as well. So now I'll get an additional two so I can take one more shot. Oh, jeez. You guys hear that Springfield cracking. Crack one more. Oh, wow. 15 is a hit. Is 15 a hit? Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. So they were moving, again. so they had armor class 13. And that's 10 damage. I don't think that's going to be quite enough. So I'm down to one MP left. That was yeah, you blew my load, them. boys. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> two drop dead. <laughs> and the third one scrambles down. And the, the convoy keeps going, of course. Actually, I got the second kill, so I have two points left. But that's not much. And the one's so, injured, right? You guys do notice that this convoy might be special in some way. This car is carrying somebody important. and But there's not much you guys can do right Bazooka, now. Gomer oh. Pile. Kill that fucking thing. Now, let's see here a minute. Um, it's moving pretty quick. Mm. It's a new round. Let's do initiative. Um, I For some hey, reason, I my map's gone... Good. Uh, or is anyone my, my map's gone black again. I don't Sarge think I have to go, man. Yeah. Sarge oh. hasn't gone. I still get my shot. Right. Okay, Sarge. <clears throat> this so guy just took a shot at you. Is still there? Right. Yeah, he's still there. He's hurt. I'm, I'm going to shoot him. I think Doc shot him. That is correct. I'm going to shoot him. So what do I click on to shoot him? Your actual weapon. Um... On your sheet. Okay. Yes, you go to your sheet. I'm you click shoot the weapon. With my, uh, with my Thompson. Now you have to tell me first. Single. Burst. Burst. Okay. So you take so minus, three minus three off your three. roll. Yeah. yeah, you got it. And that's a miss. Now you have uh, three bursts in a mag. Just bear that in okay. mind. So you fired off like ten rounds there, and uh. You miss. He's crouching in by the ledge, and he's like, ah, one of the bullets. He's suppressed, though. He's at disadvantage. Uh, now that's the round. So new new turn order. Um, I can't. Am I on roll twenty? My my map has gone black again for some reason. Um, you know why? Uh, I had that problem too. I use Max and Linux. What you need to do is turn off on your Mac, the, um, uh, I think it's called WEG or whatever. There's some kind of uh, setting you can turn off to fix your Mac. Oh, wow. oh this is the, I think this is like the first of all that if you get Chrome or Firefox. Opera, which hadn't had a, pro I haven't had a problem in Roll20 before with it. Mm, but... It's because it's using, oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. No problems. I use Ubuntu and a another Linux distro and then Windows and I found Ubuntu runs it the best. 
Okay, we're gonna play here. Everyone roll initiative. I'll just fill it in over here since I can't see. Now remember, there's a, there's a guy that shot at you, Gunny. He almost killed you. He's hiding behind that building over there. There's the convoy zipping. I don't Go know if you phone, guys have dude. time to waste a shot on it or not. Cause you better Go be phone. Stay alive. Uh, so, Sergeant Rock, of course, beginning every round, you can yell out an order if you choose. I'm going to... I'll Didn't say go. attack the, the side, the car. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the descending. Snipes, you're first. You're up there. You just finished taking out two of them and, and winged another one. All right. Um, I can't see any either the two that are close, right? They're too close to the cliff. This guy ran behind the building. You don't know where he went. The guy you winged. The convoy keeps going. They're, they're pinning it because they know there's something right, going on. They're being attacked. I'm going to use a shot on... I'm going to use my last point. Well, hopefully we get a rest sooner. I get some kills. The truck with this. Yeah, because hey. it makes it ability checks. And the point is to like try and disable his car or fuck the driver up so that he crashed into something or something so that they can't escape. Okay. You're going to try to take out some critical now. 22. Okay, you shoot. So you're going to shoot into the window, try to take out the driver? Maybe like shoot the... well. It, it, the, the theory of it behind, is behind it that the ability checks of whatever they're trying to do next round will be hindered, but like take out the tire maybe, like shoot out the back like, back tire so that it they go careening into that windmill. Okay, so you do hit the tire, no problem. It's a great shot. And I'll, I'm going to give the tire four hit points. So you get to roll your two die six, or which okay. is probably going to puncture it, because <laughs> uh, you basically have to shit the bed fuck yeah okay the, they're fucking born the tire shatters <laughs> all the way buddy and the car still goes forward though somewhat but it creens left and right and is probably not going to go far it's it's whole side the tire disintegrated and it's scraping and still trying to go but it's definitely slows down i'm going to make a rule here to see how the driver does Oh, the driver doesn't do well. He tries to keep control, but it careens. And you oh, remember, see... he rolls disadvantage too, because uh, of that that ability I use. It's in the chat. Okay, well, he still rolled a ten, but that wasn't enough. He actually crashes into the tank. But it's a uh, he rolls. He's rolling disadvantage. So you need to roll a second dice and see if he rolls lower. I rolled twice. I got a ten and a twelve. Oh. Okay. And so 10 wasn't yeah. good enough, though, for him to maintain control and escape. And he crashed into the Stringovich. Crunch! And you hear him just yeah. crash. But you guys don't really see it. It's behind the windmill. And there's a bit of clusterfuck here because the tank's in the way. Things could get ugly. Gunny, you gotta no. get down, man. Otto, let's see. I got a quick question about one of my little uh, talents. I'll just read it to you. Uh, Overwatch, you are able to target large areas in the battlefield and impede enemy advancement while wielding an auto or auto heavy weapon. Spend 30 feet of your movement on your turn and select a 10 foot cube, 20 foot with auto heavy within your weapon's range. Until the beginning of your next turn, the area is considered difficult terrain to any enemy targets attempting to move through it. As a reaction, you can force an enemy that enters the area to make a dexterity save. Mm -hmm. The target takes your weapon damage on a failed save. Fire. Yeah, well, that's keen if you're being assaulted. Yeah. Well, fire. Also, what I was thinking is that uh, people were driving by here. You know? Oh, you were going to suppress that area where they were driving yeah. through. Yeah, they were driving through, and I figured since they were moving forward down the road, and there's a guy right there, and he's in the area effect of where I was going to lay down the box. So I was going to see if I can suppress that area. Okay, so you're still on your knee, and you, yeah. you still have 15 rounds left in the mag. 
right? Yeah. You did you did a burst or no, you did single shot. No, single shot. I got yeah, so you have 19 rounds. Okay, that's a full all right, you can go full auto suppression. And okay. you just start opening up on the edge of that building and then the, the ground behind it. And you see a Jeep drive by and your rounds might hit it. So make your roll here. And this is for general attack, and it's a minus five full auto. Area attack, so it's armor type ten, but you're minus five. Whatever you roll. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to get you to roll a percentage Ooh, die to see if your one. weapon jams or. That natty one, though. That's I rolled a side of die. If you tell me if you roll uh, below ten or below thirty, either way, I need to know. Natty roll twenty side die. No, hundred percentage die. Ooh, that's okay. So you just totally whiff. Uh, you expend the rounds. Now there was a chance there the gun would have jammed or been broken. But you empty the rounds and miss everything, and it doesn't. It's ineffective. The Jeep maneuvers around the tank and stops on the other side as far as you can tell the motorbike goes zipping around out in the field and goes oh starts mama. driving away oh, mama. it's amazing so oh, gunny's done oh sorry i went too fast that was uh the soldiers oh, thank you so this guy sergeant rock you're prone right yeah okay this guy's at disadvantage he's gonna shoot i rolled twice he's got the mp40 i rolled a six and a two so he kind of sprays, he, and he has to reload. He sprays the tree line and totally misses you. This guy over here is prone. He's been looking for a target. He's going to shoot at Gunny. You can see him. He misses with a six. Boy, the dice are treating you guys well. Um, this guy back here, he has it a, a K98. He's going to shoot at Fred uh, Sparky. Now, are you prone, Sparky, now? You quick got up and then went down again? Wow. Somebody daring come again? No, that's Sparky. Ooh. Okay, well, he missed anyway. Doc, mm -hmm. you're out of sight, so those are those three. These um, vehicle, this vehicle careens off and goes zipping down the road to escape. Just checking, Darren. These guys are still alive. Yes. Okay. All, all three of them. They're all wounded, I think. Okay. Well, uh, if I can, because it's my turn, right? Yes. Uh, I'd like to reload and just creep back up to the edge of this uh, tree line here. You can shoot at that guy. Did you patch yourself up? Uh, no. I mean, I was curious. I was asking earlier. If I yeah, could... you're still minus one as long as you're not patched up. Okay, well, if I could uh, patch myself up and reload in the same round, I'd like to do that, but I'll just patch myself up. No, you have to apply for a stayed, which Good. will... Yep. Uh, Sparky, a couple guys shot at you, and bullets are, like, zinging all around you. <laughs> They're just missing. The one guy with an MP40 is like... <laughs> and every bullet's missing you. Yeah, so you're good, Doc. You're patched up. You did a quick wrap. Of course. Yeah. So what do you do, Sparky? Now, you had your bazooka out. You can drop it on the ground and pull your pistol right. out and shoot this round. Well, what I would like to do, if I can, is um, drop the bazooka. And I would really like to... Uh, range is not bad. I don't imagine... It's about 50 feet. I'd like to chuck a grenade, right? We're looking That's at exactly it. exactly what I was going to do. Great idea. Right there. Because those guys are in... Okay, since you had your bazooka, you drop your bazooka, throw a grenade. I'm going to get you to roll a uh, acrobatics check. Okay. At, at disadvantage. Oh. That was terrible. Okay. 
you can you throw the grenade and it's awkward and it hits the bush here uh -huh. your aim is off and it lands here and explodes pretty dangerously close to you actually um you take ouch So that's uh, three die four damage. You take six points damage. Okay. And this guy here takes more. He takes one die six. Uh, he takes four, so that's four die four. Or four die six, because he's in the kill zone. He slumps down blasted against the bluff and, and falls back down bloody mess this guy he's dead which guy this guy right here this guy here takes one die four shrapnel one oh i'm sorry i messed up the numbers there guys sorry this guy he's still alive but he takes some shrapnel and this guy is out of he's prone and behind the bush and, and covered. He doesn't take any damage. This guy's dead though. You took some damage. You took a couple pieces of shrapnel. One kind of clipped your cheek and cut and opened it up and there's blood streaming down your chin now, and dripping Chins into your uniform. That yeah. sounds sparky. Yeah, and there's another piece that went through your fatigues up in your webbing and, and clipped in your shoulder. There, you think there's a little piece of metal in your friggin' shoulder now. Ouch. And that grenade didn't go well. It kind of <laughs> the aim was not good. Sergeant Rock, you see that? I'm, oh. I'm going to throw a grenade. What's this right here? That's a prone guy. I'm going to throw a grenade. Been down right low and... I'm going to throw a grenade right here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Roll your uh, acrobatics. And I forgot you were in the blast zone, but that's water under the bridge. You would, you would have... Oh, you might have nice. taken some shrapnel. Wow. Okay, he's a dead man. So you hit him dead on, and he's blown to bits. Unless you really tank your rolls. Air fucking born. <laughs> oh, question. Did I uh, kill anybody with that long range shot on the car? Because then I get a point back. No, you did cripple the car. All the way! All the way. So Air this guy's blown born. to bits, man. The grenade lands right, right in his face, and it's just yeah, boom. Yeah, it's, it's, the whole upper, yeah, his whole upper body is gone. That's another saying we have in the airborne. Hoo! It's an army saying too, but they say it lame. Hoo! -ah. We say Hoo! It's like a guttural thing. <laughs> Grunt. Okay, this guy's running. That was the end of the round, by the way. And this guy, he he spends his round. He runs, and he's gonna reach this these bushes and trees. And yeah, he's wounded and running. Still has his rifle though. Uh, over here, these vehicles are just. You're not sure what's going on. Somebody's gotten out of the vehicles. You can't see behind the windmill and stuff, but they seem to be getting in this other jeep and taking off and zipping down the road. Like, it's pretty... I don't know if you guys can do anything about it at this point. Uh, if I have initiative on this guy, I might be able to snipe him out. The guy running to the north? Yeah, you see him bolt there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's down. But you sense... You couldn't see it, but you, you think you heard doors slamming. You think somebody got out of that vehicle and hopped in the other vehicle and fucked off. With their motorbike escort and they're i don't know if you guys can stop them at this point they're like going 50 miles an hour down the road they did leave their other car though oh yeah it's the, oh, yeah. 21 i'm rolling lights out right now i assume that's a hit yeah <laughs> and he's already wounded that's the guy up here or was i wrong boy you guys have been doing really good <laughs> by the way 11. Okay, he's down. You like, center mass, center of the back, face down, spaghetti man. Paratroopers always do good. <laughs> Jesus, good job. 
So there's a bunch of ger dead Germans everywhere. You guys, I should do a count. How many you guys killed? Okay, this guy's still alive though, right? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Gunny. <laughs> yeah, he's still no last turn either. Okay, that was the end of the round. Um, this guy, he's still fighting. He, uh, is anyone left? Wow. Oh no, he couldn't. Right, he couldn't because he was suppressing fire. On him. He's at dis go. actually. He's at disadvantage, Gunny. He can shoot. He shoots at you, Gunny. I forgot about that. At disadvantage, so I roll twice and take the lower one. Four, four. Wow. I'll <laughs> tell you guys, I've been rolling shit for the Germans, like, and that's good, I guess. It's, it worked out. So he just totally. He's trying to shoot as you're suppressing, emptying your mag. Now you can make your reload roll. See, if, you know, you, you, do you know, Darren, what the word for shit in German is? Scheiße. Scheiße. Exactly. Yep. So he got a shot off, but he seems pissed off. He's sticking around. He's the only German left. You guys have killed everybody, man. Except for that convoy, they they're escaping. Okay, so are we in combat here still? Yeah, yep. right. One guy left. It, only Gunny can Would see him. Roll for initiative again. Yep. Maybe I'll roll good this time. Nope. Okay, I rolled a ten. Don't forget, too, I don't know if you guys did this yet, but at level four, you can increase one of your tribute points by one point up to a max of 18. Okay, Gunny, you see this asshole. You can, he's hiding behind the corner of the building. He's got like AC 16 right now. <clears throat> by the way, you guys have, I don't know, you wouldn't have rifle grenades. Probably not. No, that's army stuff and Marines. Go ahead, Gunny. You're first. Snipe, you're second. Freddy, Sparky's third. Thompson, read about First Sergeant Funk and what he did with his Thompson. Oh, nice. Gunny, 80% AP with 20% Tracer Steel Court Projectile with Copper Jacket. Now, that's a miss, unfortunately. Snipe, you don't know. You hear gunshots going off. But things are surprisingly quiet besides the background whoomp of the odd artillery and heavy guns and <clears throat> and whatnot. That's always been there. But things are surprisingly quiet now. That AA gun isn't going. There's a lot of dead Germans around. A lot. And, but there's still, you hear gunshots coming from the other side of the battle. Um, it's hard. I'll give from your perspective. Let me have a look. Oh, wow. That's uh, Badass about First Sergeant Funk. He was in my unit, man. Badass motherfucker. Okay, you got a shot at him, Josh, but it's he's going to have wicked cover. He's going to have AC-18. I'll be right, I'll be right back. Uh, I was just deciding if I wanted to move this turn or not because I don't know if anybody spotted me yet. Uh, I'll take one more shot. I have... Uh, no points right now, so no fun things I can do. Just a roll. Nope. I, 18, right? If you're talking, we can't hear you. Okay, I'm back. So he's got AC 18, Josh, if you want a shot. Did you miss? Yes. Okay. Uh, Freddy. Um, well, let me see. What are we looking at here? So is Sparky pretty, uh, is he pretty hurt? Um, um, that, that shrapnel in my shoulders doesn't feel well, but I'm okay. <laughs> Um, I'm still functioning anyway. Um, I I don't know. At this point, what I've got is the the grease gun. I'm certainly not going to use a bazooka on that guy. So what I'm going to do this turn is 
I'm going to try to, I'm going to move up. I'm going to crawl as best I can. Let me see. I don't, well, I don't know if I can make it that far or not. No, you're half I'm speed. Gonna, you could crawl like 30 feet. Well, in that case, I'm going to move up. I'll move up here anyway. Yeah, and you and then, you see this this bastard up there crouched around the corner, firing his K98 at you guys. Uh, it's his turn next. You can get a shot at disadvantage at him. After I'm crawling, gonna, take I'll, I'll take I'll take a shot with disadvantage with with my uh, with my uh, M3 with my grease gun. So burst. Yep. That's a miss. All right. Okay, this guy he creatures around the corner and shoots it at at uh oh gunny he moved up. So he shoots at you, Freddy. Oh. Yeah, that's a hit. Oh sorry, I hit oh, it twice. He had, he had oh okay. Okay, I rolled low on damage. <clears throat> this K98 eight millimeter round goes through a fleshy part under your armpit, just grazes a rib. <laughs> like oh. he just missed. Like it hurts. Like oh, stinging shot grazes your side. Another purple heart. Yeah, he just oh, he was shooting for your heart. Ouch. Now, Sergeant Rock, you see Can that the I, action is on the right flank. With a grenade. Can I throw a grenade this far? At disadvantage. You're throwing, over, you're throwing over trees and into a difficult terrain. So what do I roll? That's 130 feet. Too. That's a pretty fucking far throw. Yeah, and it, it's your shoot. You're throwing over trees and stuff too. It's it's just a difficult throw. It's at disadvantage. So, what do I roll? You roll. That's a, that's a really good chance you're gonna hit me too. You roll twenty sided <laughs> twice with your. Or no, sorry, hit your uh, acrobatics twice. Or no, acrobatics. once it'll give you the two numbers, and then you you take the lowest number. So hit your acrobatics. Okay, you're lucky. <laughs> right. it, it lands. Uh, it wasn't a over 15 or over, so you didn't land in... in uh, nice rolls. But it was close. You do one die six shrapnel hits against this guy, so roll six-sided. You probably effed him up. Uh, my roll 20 is giving me a hard time right now. Air fucking born. Oh, so he's nice. riddled... Uh, roll five die six damage. Airborne. That was nice. Wait, what oh. happened there? Let me try that again. Something fucked up down there. <laughs> An advanced roll option, you can just go, yeah. But I think he's dead unless you mess this roll up bad. Five guys, six. Seventeen. Yeah, he goes down with the shattered femur and a bunch of shrapnel in his belly. Air fucking born. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> All the way. Another dead German, people. Okay, things go ominously quiet. And you guys killed everybody. Or Actually, this guy has two hit points left over here. Which guy? And he's running. Josh, you get one okay. shot. He's sprinting in gaps. You see him just running away. And dodge. he's dodging and weaving. You don't get your advantage in this case. Oh, well, that's a, that's a hit. <laughs> okay. He only had two hit points <laughs> left. He was kind of limping, and you... Pff, oh, and he goes down. Air wow. <laughs> All the way. Wow. 
that sniper rifle, you got about 12 notches put in that damn thing. Holy shit, guys. Um, things go really quiet now. You just I hear the distant... Like maniac, man. This, yeah. This session. You can hear, yeah. You can hear... Yeah, you can hear distant artillery going off still but things are super quiet real close and you're all you guys kind of crouch up a bit you're looking around clear clear you're all yelling, yelling you know whispering sharply and and you can hear that convoy racing off and they hit the road they didn't cross the bridge though they went back toward where the kind has got battalion the battalion that car salvageable no we fucked it up Okay, now <laughs> you guys have kind of declared the immediate area sort of secure. It seems okay. Uh, there could be Germans around, but you guys fucking went on a tear there, man. I should add up how many kills you guys got, give you guys experience points. Holy. Uh, let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I raced a few, 23. An car and a uh, staff car. So you guys, okay, let's start now, real time. You guys kind of crouching up a bit in the, in the woods, and oh, yeah, it's clear. So you guys creep into the village or yeah. the farmstead? Or do you guys want to, what do you guys want to do? Yeah. The, the uh, AA's can gun is taken out. Can, can we yeah, take, I want... can, what's a short and long rest? Can we take a short rest? That's an hour. Now these this car fucked off. Oh, okay. I don't know we if you guys can afford then. to take a rest. Oh, the, um, the car. There's a car that got away. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Can... And two motorbikes. I, I, I want to. Uh, I want Doc to uh, treat my shoulder. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Medic. Medic. I probably have to go pretty soon too. It's midnight here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I just want to wrap up a couple things. Okay. Um. You guys, I want to kind of stop it now because there's some events that happen if you go into the farmstead. Okay. And so I don't want to say, yeah, we go in there and check it out. No, that's going to take some time. Now, I had fun, and I'd like to play this again. And um, uh, do you guys want to keep this going? Oh, I'm certainly down for, for a couple more sessions, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah it, it'd sure. be two or three more sessions. And Okay, and that, okay then I'll, I'll definitely work on it. I'll prep it hardcore. Uh, do you want me to continue using this character, Darren, or should I take a new character? No, no, this one's perfect. That guy never came back, eh? No, and I sent him a message. I should follow that up. I'm not sure what happened. Did we say we something? We always add one more. Yeah, he said he said he had family stuff come up or something that he had, okay. to, he had to take off. I actually like this group. I, um, you know, it's it's almost too big, but you guys played well together, so. And you guys were patient. I mean, when you weren't involved, you just kind of okay or did whatever. Yeah, and I mean, you know, and, and the numbers, it 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 works well as an extrapolation of real life. Because as Peter was pointing out, we've got fire team A, we've got fire team B, and then we've got our NCO, who's you know capable of floating between the two or doing whatever, or hanging back and 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 barking out orders. So I th I think it showed in the, in the gameplay. Uh, in yeah. the encounters that that it that it worked as a microcosm. Obviously, most units aren't going to have you know. Right. It, there'll be more than five guys in them, but it but it works for this. I think. I mean, it, uh, no, it worked. It worked pretty well. I think it, it definitely captured the spirit of the airborne. I, I agree with that. Yeah, and then Josh is the sniper. I really liked. You know, there, there's. There, I think that was. Um, it took us a while to get our rules down and, and the mechanisms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the first hour and a half or two was pretty awkward. And there was like, hey, what's going on? And But you guys really, I, I let you guys kind of discuss it and come up with a, a solution. And you guys did. Sarge played Sarge well. And, you know, you got to, in a sense, you actually have to follow his orders. Uh, he's, he's the one in command. Mm -hmm. And so... And you guys had moments where you hesitated, where you wanted to do your own thing, yet you, get, you came back. I thought that was cool. And um, But there's a, a lot of things at play right now. Now, Gunny tells you guys about, he saw the girl. She was behind us about 10 minutes ago. or It was all well, before. She did. Find out what, what she's all about. But you guys, while we're in between games, man, read up about the history of the Airborne. It's very inspiring, man. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to stop it right now.
in that you guys haven't searched the car, you haven't searched the farmstead, you're still in the in the tree line. Um, you're not taking a break. You realize that somebody got away, and they're probably getting help. So I don't know if it's wise to stay in this area much longer. But you don't know where to go at this point. You're probably going to have to refer back to your standing orders. Um, that bridge is one of the bridges that you're supposed to defend or blow up. Uh, or no, it's not. It's not in your, it's, it's part of the, you're not even sure who's supposed to blow up that bridge or whatever, but it's not on your orders. Uh, you're actually 20 minutes early out of your jump. You're probably 50 miles or 50K from your drop zone. I'll also uh, I'll go over with you in the next few days, Darren, exactly the background of this because yeah, I wasn't quite sure like what our actual objective is and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, also, what XP do we get? We should all be at twenty seven hundred right now since we're just fresh four. We started at four, so everybody's right. Be at twenty seven hundred. And you guys killed. Is the next. You guys killed twenty four Germans and blew up a tank with the crew. Mm -hmm. Took out the gun. Yeah, the inner griff gun. Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to make it really hard to stop this guy from escaping. Like, really hard. And so, you guys did the best you could. That was going to be like a bonus mission thing, right? If you could have actually stopped him. But you did not. Which, which guy from escaping? I thought we shot the main car out. You did, but he got in the other car and left. Oh, yeah, they sure. got out and jumped in a jeep and took off the jeep, which wasn't yeah. disabled. Yeah. Yeah. And the motorbikes too. They just yeah, oh, yeah, it, yeah. That's right. And I made it really hard. Like you would have had, you could have got real clever, perhaps mine the road or something, or positioned yourself in a place to kill them. But it didn't <laughs> didn't work out that way. And you guys did succeed in in silencing the AA gun and securing the farmstead temporarily. Now there's probably right. going to be company soon. Uh, how long you have? It's hard to say. Probably I mean, you might have an hour altogether, but you don't want to spend it resting. You want to spend it doing stuff. And, and I'm just throwing that out there just so you know. If you want to actually investigate and look around. and, and Well, we can always have certain guys going and scrounging because I'd like to patch up some of these guys if I can. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to stop the broadcast and, and thank everybody for playing and for coming out. I had a lot of fun. I really did. And, yeah, uh, absolutely, Darren. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'm thinking about the XP. How much and, and XP that's, and then I haven't played 5e for a while, so I'm thinking, oh, God, what, what, how many XP do you need for the next level? It's 6,500 at the next level, and we're right. at 2,700. The first four, are really, first four levels are really easy in 5e, and after that, it, it gets more difficult. So I was going to give you 50 per one of these soldiers, and it's 24, so that's 1,200 party points divided five. So that would be whatever. Twelve hundred so like, yeah, by we're five. Anyway, we need yeah. sixty-five. We need we need basically almost four thousand to go up. Yeah. So we'll say you get. Uh, so what's twelve hundred divided by five? Six hundred. No. No, I'm way like, out there. Uh, two hundred. Yeah. yeah. And then for the gun, it's another five hundred. Two forty. Two forty. There you go. I can math. Okay, yeah, two forty. And then the gun, I was going to give you 1,000 XP party points. No, that's 200 more each. 440. And then there's three more guys in the gun, actually. That's another 150 XP. So 470. And, oh, but you guys haven't contacted the girl or anything, so or done anything there. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting how you guys could have, you guys could have got involved up on that chateau when you heard the screaming. So 470 yeah, total? What's the mission though? Yep, 470 each XP. Well, we all should all be at 3170 right now because we all started at four. Perfect. All right, guys. It was and, awesome. Uh, right. I mentioned it earlier, but almost every class, if you look at it in the book, gets to add one attribute point to one of their attributes at, at level four. So if you just have your straight rolls right now, you can probably. Check your class on the on the thing, but you probably get to add one. Then that's is that in the ultra modern five e book, or is that in that's just right. the? Okay. That's in ultra modern. So in ultra modern. You